Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Let me pause the music briefly. So, I think from the standpoint... Welcome in Parameter. I think from the standpoint of the playthrough, I think we are going to clear all of the optional content um, outside of maybe doing the Earth capture ending. I mean, if we have time, maybe we'll go do it. And if chat is interested in it, we'll go for one last ending in the game. Um, technically, I guess I can also see bad endings, depending on how far we get. But yeah, chat, the next at least two hours will be almost purely bonus content. So expect a lot of boss stomping right, for like a, for, for a good while. And we'll, we'll show a little update as to where we were since I needed to advance the story a bit. Although before we go into the boss stomp proper, oh, let me let's actually put you. Before we go into the boss stomp proper, I want to show you something. So I basically have just eliminated several minutes of me doing bills, which is very boring. But anyway, I got up to episode 10. I'm going to show you dialogue that happens. So the reason this is about to happen is because I have enemy bills still active in our other save file. I removed all the enemy strengthened bills, so just to clarify what I'm about to do. So you get this line of dialogue, chat, if you talk to the gatekeeper while you have 20 and you've already collected Gordon. Prince, we have a problem. Something powerful has appeared in the cellar graveyard. Something powerful? There's nothing more powerful than me, but it sounds like I could kill some time there. Please take care. Okay, I don't want to introduce the context yet. We'll go to it in like maybe about a half hour. I want you to look at the levels. <laughs> You'll understand why I lowered the difficulty. So we go to the cellar graveyard. We're like, okay, you know, rank 15, rank 15, rank 15. I'll even move the chat so you can see it easier. Like, okay, 15, 15. Oh, oh, there's the 65. Huh. I wonder how hard that is. Hmm. Let's just take a look without looking at the story real quick. Surely these enemies must be of reasonable stature. Oh. The answer's no. So no, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it on a max difficulty. I want you to witness this because yeah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Just remember this for later. You can even take a little screenshot if you want. It, it'll take a little bit. I don't want to jump straight into this, but I wanted to show this because I'd rather stay on the other save file. Yeah. Also, they seem to always have legendary Arcadia Nemesis, so that's always fun. Arcadia being the best accessory in the game. You know, they only have 84 million. I mean, obviously. Whoa, this looks bad. <laughs> I want to show you one more thing, too. Remember, chat, this is our best character. I'm just going to end the turn over here. I want you to witness. And then we'll move to the real save file. Our best character, chat. And I'm dead. So. <laughs> Needless to say, they're just... Honestly, the level 9999s don't bother me as much. It's more their health total that's a problem. So I could see myself doing like level 7000. I do not see myself ever wanting to do this. <laughs> honestly. That's, that's a grind for another time. Those are for the purely dedicated people. Listen, we're not doing that. So anyway, just wanted to showcase that with no context. We'll, we'll build up to that. So anyway, now we're back here. I've rearranged my party menu because it was bothering me that the human characters kept getting in the way of my powerhouses. So, we need to get a little further. And I guess the question is the order in which I should do things. I guess I should start with Prinny Land and then work my way downwards. Beauty Castle has an item that I want, and Pretty Land has an item that I want. The other two are... I I don't honestly know if there's anything new, because Cave of Ordeal having a secret fight wasn't in the original. So I don't honestly remember. But let, let's see what Pretty Land's all about. What is this place? Prince, be careful. This is Pretty Land. Pretty Land? This is where Prinnies who escape from the Netherworld or Celestia come. I see. In other words, it's a hangout for losers. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. 
heard there are pretty rebels here that were exiled from the netherworld in Celestia. Rumor has it some of them could give an even an overlord a run for his money. Hmm. Then I won't be bored. Let's go. There, there's our little lean-in. Let's see what level these characters are. Honestly, I didn't look at this one very closely. So, early on, they're, like, reasonable. Oh, we get to see a different Prinny color, finally. Captain Prinny. We have Private Prinny. Captain Prinny. So, like, honestly... Also, one thing I'm gonna note, if Chan is curious, you cannot lift and throw them to kill them. You actually have to fight them. And since these characters are not that difficult, I think I'm actually going to bring out chat's characters. So remember, chat, I had to go through story mode, so um, you might have received some experience on the YouTube version of our playthrough. A little bit. A little, little teeny bit. I remember when you guys were like level one at the end of the other stream? Oh, speaking of which, Calvishin could probably actually get a kill. Not the one I meant to shoot, but we'll take it. Yeah, like, I think you can lift them, it's just you can't throw and kill them. Yeah, Rogue Nine, almost level 100 now, chat. Real stats. Uh, I guess I'll showcase it. I'll throw with try, not that it really matters. Yeah, this is the only place in the entire game where you can throw a printing and they won't explode. I guess it is their land. So we could have done this before beating the game normally, but... I feel like this would have avoided the challenge we were doing. Honestly, for the most part, this will end up being easier than Etna mode. I think they get closer to level 200 as we get to the end. So again, it would have been... And probably not something I'd full clear on the first time we were through, but definitely by the end of Endo Mode, this would have been super free. I want as many as possible to embrace the ninja. Oh man, they can't even hurt Calvisham. Oh man, chat. Listen, I might have given him, like, one armor, but wow, that's sad. He's not even in, like, tank form at the moment. Oh, actually, speaking of which, chat, I don't think I'll get a kill with it, because this attack is terrible. I'm going to show you one of the dumbest things ever. Are you ready, chat? I've been meaning to show this off the entire game. Here it goes. Oh, I actually got a kill with it? Oh, nice. I get to I get to aim my cannon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's so gimmicky. Oh, he already did his attack. Fun but useless. Yeah. The only thing interesting about it is that it does a minimum of one damage, so technically, on like a level 9999 that has extremely low health, I could cheese him out with it. I don't have to defeat it to clear the stage, so... Sure, let's go to Printing Land 2. So we're seeing some of the pink printies we saw before. Oh no, clones? Um... I right, chat. I <laughs> I don't think we should allow clone to exist. Listen, I don't care about our enemies getting cloned. I care about our characters getting cloned because that just seems like insufferable and awful. <laughs> like I don't think so, chat. Got 5k health, huh? Where are you at? Listen, chat, we we have a character for just... Oh, that's not where I meant to aim it. We, we have a character for just such emergencies. There we go. Yeah, I'm not dealing with clones. So anyway... I don't remember if this is... I, I don't remember if in Disgaea 1 you're allowed to seal cloned equipment. I'm pretty sure you can. You definitely can in the later ones, but... I don't really want to fight copies of myself. It's not really worth the time. 
they're like, nah. You can see, like, these enemies are still pretty low level. Like, again, these I think we could reasonably clear. It's only, like, the last map or so. I'm not sure we would have been able to clear it on the normal playthrough. Oh, you attacked her? Oh, you're just stupid then. I mean, I guess I'm showing off how strong Rogue Nine is now. They just literally can't hit him with anything. Then I just do this. That seemed fair. Perk's also basically the same level he was before I transmigrated him. Take that pretty all the way over there. Get out of my face. <laughs> Come on. Let's do a quick attack here. The XP dude. Welcome, girl. Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's poor enemies. We're gonna turn on an animation, because it's not needed, but it's funny. Ping of beats the printy. Nin chat. Goodbye. Okay, let's go to Pretty Land 3. Not too bad so far. Do you notice that it, you know, before this would have been like the end of story mode? Because story mode I think was around 25-ish. So like kinda kinda lower than the end of story mode. I don't think the bonus rank quite matches the difficulty of the area. This is like the start of Cave of Ordeals. So let's see if they finally start hitting level 100 or if they're just kinda underwhelming. Also, this is a lot of printies. I like I like the giant printies on the floor. I like the map design. I like them all worshipping this thing. Oh, it just randomly has a testament. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to a random testament. I like I like that it looks like we interrupted like a congregation of printies. So yeah, this would have been... Actually, not that bad. Actually, not that bad. I actually think we could have done this on normal playthrough then. Because I think Pretty God is one of the last things that we do here. Anyway, we'll we'll keep it a little fair. <laughs> like, I'll I'll play characters that are like almost level appropriate. Showcase lions roar. We barely see it. It's the prettiest place on earth, dude. Pretty much. Right, let's let them congregate. Why did he kill why did he kill all of his allies with finger beam? That was just rude, Martin. You can't just execute all your friends. That's my job. What a jerk, chat. I didn't even get good XP because of that. Well, I mean that's one way to clear the stage. Let the game play for you, I guess. Stupid Martin. I ran out of SP because I didn't go back to the doctors. Ooh. I might turn on attack animation when there's less of them. Like, for example, if suddenly a whole row of these characters had a severe and unfortunate accident, something like that, I might turn on their animations. <laughs> I chat just a little bit. That way I'm not sitting through like 5 million uh, gameplay. I need more movement, actually. Don't mind me. Just gonna bandit hand your testament. Nice. So there we go, chat. Easy testament. Gut spell. I don't think gut spell is any good. Given how low their stats are, I don't have faith that that's actually an interesting item. I could steal. I got nothing better to do. Just to see what its stats are. Welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. That's not where I aimed it. Alright, so we now officially robbed them of all their items. Um... Let's gonna have Chris just come in and disrespect him real quick. What are your weaknesses? Oh, it doesn't matter. Your weakness is Chris. Goodbye. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, uh, look. You know what? We'll, we'll give him one turn to showcase an attack chat. One turn. 
and then you normal attack. Really? Really? You have all this SP. You have all these moves. You chose to walk up and melee me. <sighs> Die. Hi, <laughs> <Right>, chat. <laughs> you gave him one chance. And that's the entirety of it. Pretty easy bonus content. I guess we could check back quickly what happens when we revisit. Whether or not the Brinny God is there. But hey, we got a uh, another estimate, which I'll probably equip in a moment. I imagine the Prinny God is not here, but let's take a look. It is. But he is a testament every time? Oh. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna leave the stage now that I know it. I I might as well just get a second testament chat. Like I'm just like, wait a minute. Oh. Right? Oh. So I guess if you just want a testament. It's not the best accessory in the game, but it's really good, so. Take it as you will, I guess. Look. <laughs> This ridiculous pattern. I love our I love our absolutely ridiculous uh like, yeah I could do boxes and stuff like that. Probably better that I do this because this is kind of expensive. So funny to me. I don't even care that your resistance was fire. I was like, wait a minute. What? Why do I care what your stats are? You're not gonna survive. Get out of here. Oh, uh, Calvisham just slightly too weak. I did put him to sleep though, which is hilarious. So Calvisham's gun can just trank people that are lower level than him. That seems fair, right, chat? I'll let Calvisham get that kill. I think he earned it at this point. So I, so I guess if I want to get my Testament back, I could just go get it now. Arcadia is better than Testament, but it also technically just gives me more weapon fodder. I swear, if he walks up and melees me, I'm going to be so disappointed, chat. Multi-kill. I'm going to move backwards slightly to encourage him to not just walk up and hit attack me. There we go. You did it, Calvishim. Get that level. Might as well bring forward some characters with Ultra Movement. I'm hoping three characters is enough to go steal it, but we'll see. I should lure him forward and hopefully he can't melee me. He can melee me. Oh, he's probably gonna die. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's right, he's got more health. I was worried he had like 2k or like 3k. That's fine. Oh, I never got to see what the Guts Belt was. Was it any good? I doubt it was. Actually, 422 isn't even bad. That's actually not even bad. Like, that's that's an upgrade on some of my characters. Like this character, for example. There you go. We got we got Kirkin upgrade. Where you know I could just equip another testament, you know? It's just 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 the thing you could casually do. I'm not gonna farm him any further. But it's good to know that that exists. Do I want another gut spell? Uh, that's probably fine. One's enough. Fight over, chat. Hey, we were strong enough to kind of do that on our own, which is kind of nice. Speaking of kind of nice. Were any of these testaments in the right level with- Oh, of course. Of course they're not. Wait a minute, 85. I feel like I had an 85 in here. I wish I could sort items by their rarity number. I swear I had a character with 85. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. So both of these have gladiator, which is huge. That could mean for our ult character. Could just give him a testament. It does make him a bit weaker defensively. That might be okay. Or honestly, I don't think the attack power matters. What I'm gonna do instead.
Who actually I've been kind of enjoying the defense. Is there a character that would benefit from this? Maybe I'll give it to Chris or in Parameter instead. Interesting that these are all downgrades. I guess I have enough roll int from the other sources. Okay, I can at least get Chris a minor upgrade. I think our remaining stats don't matter that much. Let's just look at to see. I mostly managed to fill up our stats pretty well, so there's not many characters that don't have something of interest on other than the bear characters. And I'm not really going to give up the infernal armor. Honestly, the defense has been so huge. Unless I feel like I'm missing damage by a little bit, I'd rather they have the 750 defense. Because that translates to like almost literally 7,500 defense. Which means I could just tank almost anything that I want. Okay, so, okay, so pretty land is done. Um, I guess I'll go to Beauty Castle because that also has something that I want. I just think it's 56. I don't, oh, let's do it in let's do it in rank order. I'll do alternate netherworld first. Hmm. What an interesting layout of enemies. So I have to throw basically a target in every direction. It looks like none of the places connect. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have put another testament on Calvisha. That actually would have mattered. Oh, but he has to give up Infernal Cape. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment then. Never mind. Even Calvisha's items are pretty good. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have whole row of characters, I think, chucking over here. So what we're gonna do, since these enemies aren't too hard, I don't feel like using monsters. Let's just go ahead and do what we can here. Nice level up. Most of our character tossers at this point actually have a pretty absurd amount of health. So it should be fairly straightforward for the most part. Rogue 9 should be able to get a lot of kills here. Ooh, slightly too weak. I could throw a lot. Ooh. It's actually kind of annoying how they're positioned, to be honest with you. They're pretty far away. Well, two can play at this game. They want to be far away. They could die far away. Use Giga Wind to save SP. I believe it in Parameter's damage at this point. I'm like, yeah. Ooh. Look at that targeting range, chat. Sure would be a shame if somebody nuked them full screen. Calvi shouldn't take a shot here. Most of these characters are not too bad. I could throw Chris across the gap next turn. So people over there that need to die. Wow, that's all they could do to Kirk. Uh, they killed Calvishim, which is whatever. Done. Be back. They're so weak, I might just get away with a Giga Fire. Save a lot of SP here. Clutch that kill. Oh, not enough throw range. Should be able to deal with. 
Oh, is this not lined up? That's okay. We can we do a little tricky diagonal throws. Listen, chat. We don't we don't have to play completely by the rules, right, chat? Like just sh that was illegal throw distance. <laughs> Listen, if they wanted to get rid of it, they had many versions of to do that to do that. That's on them at that point. Six feet under should be fine. Should be able to kill you. Now we just gotta get the guys in the corner. I might move Chris over here. Oh no, that's all they could do to Laharl? Oh, chat, this is just getting sad. Yeah, we. Oh, sorry, I meant to comment earlier. Yeah, the belt of guts. Just ripped it right out of him. Thank you. Although, unfortunately for these two, they happen to be weak to Omega Ice. And chat knows Omega Ice is one of our most used ones, followed by Omega Winds. So they're probably Omega Dead. Yeah. It's about what I thought. Now, because Kirk at least has a range here, I could chip him out a little. Move in Parameter a little closer. Got enough SP. I could afford to go a little crazy here. They're like just far enough apart. <laughs> Looks like you saw. Wait, I could just do that. Wow. Kind of messed up. Thanks, Imperameter. Imperameter's level might actually super matter, by the way. I might need him to pop some Geo Prisms later. We'll see. I'm not sure if it's required yet. So, Imperameter getting extra kills here is somewhat important to improve minimum damage of his abilities. Fortunately for them, it's all over. Not bad. So, so far, so good. We cleared out Pretty Land. We're about to clear out another area. Another kind of puzzly area. This time, maybe less throwing. Ooh, less throwing. Muscle World is our victory item. Not tough for these enemies. Ooh, 170. That's kind of fun. That's exactly where I wanted to hit him to. I think it's time to start feeding some kills to our mages, chat. Ooh, what a beautiful kill. 50% wind, huh? Yeah, I think we could more or less do oops all mages for a while. I think anything really stops me. Put Rogue Nine out here to draw some melee fire. Kirk can draw some melee fire. I think importantly, chat. Well, speaking of which, I managed to get RJ Chaos's stats better. So I can actually use him for magic or melee buffs. But I think it's time to start creating a god mage to clear this area a little better. Now, granted, I could have waited until I got another character to do this, but eh. Nobody wants to see the new character, it's fine. <laughs> I'd rather disrespect them with the chat characters anyway. New character's a little broken, chat. They're like, their level's gonna be like 2,000 plus or something dumb. Nice. Parameter getting powered up for later. So I need to have at least one more mage. These two together. I'm getting some brave heart. Not that I can hit the ninja because this little bug prevents me from targeting. Oh, I gotta use more SP. Fortunate. We gave Chris an Imperameter a buff. I think Imperameter can also just one shot this character from here. This is what 
I don't even need to do that. Disgusting. Yeah, that seems fair. I think I'll have Cal v Oh, I can't throw him that way. Yeah, it's actually kind of annoying. I moved this character in the way. I have to do something like this for now. There we go. I figured it out, chat. Look at that. It's like a puzzle figuring out what I did last. What was your weakness? Oh, it's ice? Oh, that's what we call unfortunate. Ooh, Chris just a little, little too weak with his current setup. But you know what? That's fine. We got characters to finish the job. Let's lure some attackers towards us. Oh, or literally no one reacts at all. Okay, I guess that's one way to view it. I think what I'll do... We're gonna have Knight Sever go first, and then Chris finishes. Excellent. Move our army of buffing mages a little closer. Oh, diagonal throw for maximum movement, chat. There we go, we're being optimal. Wow, the fact that I can reach there with magic boost is really funny to me. Yeah, Chris missed a couple of magic boosts, so that should help significantly. Now it should be a lot better. Oh. Next turn, I guess. I figured it out eventually, Chad. We menu to the right action that would be valid in that terrain. Okay. Oh, this is just getting embarrassing for them, chat. Well, yeah, speaking of which, I don't think I showed the fist proficiencies. He's at 12 now, by the way, which is not insignificant. He's getting a decent amount of stats here. Oh, they're both weak to fire? Hmm. Right, so we're gonna line these two up diagonally since that is the cheapest way to get a boost in this game. RJ Chaos is gonna assist. Have another magic boost because we can. I will try to Braveheart over here to get Kirk more damage. The fact that I can even buff that far shows how much we've been using these other characters. I don't know how I angled that, but that's fine because we don't need that many more to cap. This is just kind of show, showing off at this point. Just making sure our staff mastery is good. Ideally, we're going to get RJ Chaos to 5 staff, so he gets a little extra range. And if he levels up the other ones a little bit more, that's also fine. But I think between... All of the mages here. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we can do something like this. We should just be able to outright kill a target. But like, see how like these enemies are kind of weak? Like a parameter should just be able to one-shot them without any doubt in my mind. They're just actually dead. Now I just need to weaken up for Chris. Do something like not how I thought that lined up. Problem. I cannot reach them. So sad. I'll get a kill off of this, but I can weaken them very severely. That was weird. It was. Oh, never mind. Chris with enough buffs can one shot. If for some reason it was not. I hit triangle, but the game did not take my triangle. The buffer went nope. Alright, so I'm gonna feed it to Imperimeter. I think Chris has gotten okay amount of kills. As I said before, I might need Imperimeter to legit one-shot something for me. So on the off chance Imperimeter doesn't kill, I will have Chris just disrespect the Giga Wind. Nice. Muscle World attained. 
What's the world adds? How much? Thousand. Um. I think most of my characters are now using at least a thousand. I don't think there's any character still using it that's less than, other than maybe this character. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, chat. <laughs> so remember those joke items that were on the ultimate zombie? I, I stole them, by the way. Do I need them? No. But I just wanted to showcase you could steal them. So if you really want a 150 int item, it wouldn't have been bad at the time we were in the game. It would have been quite high, actually. No, not the Man Festival flashbacks. So yeah, we're still very gradually leveling our characters, which is kind of funny. So, Chan, you at least cleared most of the bonus content so far. Okay, let's see what levels they are. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a level jump, chat. Just a, a little teeny bit. They just happen to be 400 now. Okay. I mean, I could still probably mostly do this. Just, uh... I'm gonna do something like this. <laughs> we're, we're gonna call these to the deterrence. Right? So they can't just walk through and kill the rest of the group. So we have to focus on one set of them. They're both weak to ice. That's interesting. Hmm. Do I think Chris and company can kill? 1,400 is not really great in terms of stats for them. I think this is still doable. I think what I could do... It'll kill a lot of our human characters, but that's okay. Everything demands a sacrifice, chat. So I might as well just leave them staggered to make them waste their time. I would like to deploy Kirk. I don't think I can. Not yet. So I'm gonna make them in kind of weird staggered formations and see what the game does. I'm gonna put some over here as well. One, two, three. Need two more. Okay, so I can have Kirk out if I need him to be here. Okay. I'm gonna have Kirk slowing some things down if I need to. Actually, before I commit to using Kirk, I should see if I get the kill or not. One, two, three, four. Need one more mage. Thank you, RJ Chaos. RJ, Ka RJ Chaos able to finally make this dream happen. I could do oops all power mages. Thank you, RJ Chaos, for hitting the right level. Actually, the smarter thing to do would have been to magic boost the enemy as well. That's fine. To get a better combo, because this guy actually is pretty tanky. I think what I'm going to do preemptively is summon Kirk to get in between these two. So I'm going to do something like this. Well, if Chris go first, he might kill the first target, but definitely by the second, this, they both should be dead. And Parameter getting extra levels. Good, good, good. And yeah, we'll just leave our deterrence down. Although to be fair, I think I can make our other deterrent more annoying for the enemy by doing this. So we'll lose a few mages. Oh, they actually hit uh, this from there. Interesting. Oh, rip Chris. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> so they get for not obeying the deterrent. Alright, let's move in Parameter on this side then. I think what I could do is... AoE everything here. If I'd comboed that, I think that would have killed. What a shame. Let's do Operation Protect the, uh, Protect the Mage. They have to get through Kirk now. We might be able to melee and parameter a little bit there, but we'll, uh, reduce the number of attackers. A little bit.
Wow, they did that much damage to Kirk? Oh yeah, never mind. Imperimeter didn't stand a chance. Wow. Okay, yeah, these guys are a little too tough for the human party. Oh well, it's time to bonk. <laughs> right, Chad? I, ch I tried to have fun with it, but they're like, no, listen. We're gonna do 3k to your tankiest party member. That's not a monster. Unfortunate. At least we got a couple of levels out of it before the bonketing happens. There will be bonk chat. Oh, uh, that would have been interesting if we got one of those other items. <laughs> Money does not matter at all for bonuses. You walked up and you all walked up and meleeed these characters. Really? Why? Oh, hey, there's another me. Bye, other me. Bonk. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, this would have been such a free kill for somebody. Oh, well. Is that 3 million? It was. Okay. Well, at least I have enough money to revive our human party members. So we might be getting into the it's no longer clearable territory of the bonus content. There might have been a small level jump between the level 150s and suddenly oops level 400. It's like a little bit. Oh hey, look, it's another 10 rank jump. Olympic seal. Can unlock crisis. Ooh, I like the portal there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, chat, something tells me our human characters, uh... I don't think they're going to get a kill here. So what we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to introduce them to our friends here. A little, a little much. You know what? Maybe, maybe there's a chance. I don't think our mages can get a kill. It's possible Kirk and friends could actually get a kill if they work together. Maybe this is doable. With with their with their powers combined, they become an average character. Maybe. Oh, where's? I was gonna say I'm gonna use RJ Chaos. Honor RJ Chaos. You can get to rank five staff. You're so close. Oh well, this is one way to improve the. Oh, why am I magic boosting? Old habit. Yeah, the more we level this, the easier I can target with it, and the more range it has. Not like the other characters need attack buffs. There we go. See, we're improving everybody's staff mastery. It's like they're getting experience. Oh, that, that, was, that was bold of them to just walk up and not attack, chat. Let's see, what is my weakest attack? Will this not kill them? Okay. Let's do our second weakest attack. This one has less health still. I think what we could do is have RJ Chaos Braveheart the whole group again. And I can still maybe magic boost for a little damage here. So it's not Totally hopeless, my odds of hurting them. But what I probably want to do is delay these enemies. So I'm going to King of Beasts these guys backwards. That way I buy myself more time. Um, And from here, just do some big damage. Let's see, he's weak to fire. Let Chris start things off with a little bit of heat. And do Hurricane Slash into... Actually, I could do even better. I could do Blazing Knuckle. It should actually do some good damage. And then hopefully this kills. Oh, that did no damage. Never mind. I was thinking they were going to do a couple thousand, not a couple of hundred. That's a little lower than expected. Well, I guess I will spread the group out a little more. So they're less likely to get tenderized. Do something like this. See what they do. Rip the mages. Damn, that feeling when 
That feeling when Mage dies instantly. Hmm. I don't think I could weaken them to the point where I could do anything interesting, sadly. That's them so low, but they're still so far. Kill that guy outright. Get away, Frost. I guess in theory, I could hit him with something really weak. Maybe it wouldn't kill them. Maybe? <laughs> right, chat? Maybe I could go with Knights Ever here, actually? There we go. You, you go, RJ Chaos. go we managed to sneak one kill in i'll consider that a victory given that he was level 900 chat wow they just straight up assassinated kirk i was gonna give kirk another kill here uh but i think we gotta revenge him or avenge him excuse me we got three six eight digits of xp to go three six oh only seven funk he did a chat Crisis unlocked. Crisis with pretty terrible stats, to be honest with you. I'm kind of not impressed. Like, we did all that for just a 400 attack weapon. I I don't even think I could clear that with a 400 attack weapon. <laughs> like, it needs to be really good, right, chat? Like, we can't kill it with rank 2 from max. We kind of need it closer to max there. We're now in a rank 60. Interesting. Warrior Maiden. Special cutscene chat. A human? With such intense energy. She's not an ordinary human. I've heard about her. A human woman who's become fascinated with the dark arts. This, these may or may not be cameo characters that other games have done, chat. <laughs> they say she wanders the netherworld, searching for battle. So, you're saying that's her? No one's fought her and lived to tell about it. Hmm, good. I'll be the first, then. Let's go investigate said character. So we have Prier. Who happens to have an Arcadia chat? Oh, she does have a Lucifer Force too. Honestly, I might steal both of these items. I'll be real with you. Yeah, I believe she's in a game called... I want to say it's like La Pucelle Tactics. But unfortunately, no tactics are about to save her from this ass whooping that's about to happen. <laughs> Listen, chat, we're not messing around. The serious characters are out. We're gonna go come over here and murder them. I was apparently also a uh, star of destiny. I'm sure you'll know none of the cameos, probably. Unless you play a lot of Nipponichi games, probably not. But I'd just like to say, chat, we have a disgusting army. I don't even know how much she can hurt us, realistically. She has like, what, 42,000 to deal with our 40 plus thousand defense? Like, okay. Like, the character with the least defense is the Death Boar, but he has the most health compared to some of the other... In fact, he has more health than most of the other characters. That's kind of gross. Anyway, we're gonna go steal and see what happens. Please don't die to auto-attacks. Wow. Wow. Wow, oh wow, chat. That was, like, a big ol' nothing in damage. Let's turn the enemy effects on. Let's go... Oh, I can't steal the Arcadia? Is she immune to theft? Oh, she might be immune to theft. Boo, no free Arcadia chat. It is legendary though. But on the plus side chat, normally when there's a cameo fight, you end up recruiting them. All right chat, it's now all down to you. Can you send enough power to one-shot this entire army? Let's find out. 
We're gonna spread out our characters a little, make them work for it. The Chaos, I don't think has the- oh, he does. Oh, that's perfect then. Yes, he hit rank 5. Perfect. Oh boy, chat. Here it comes. <laughs> Se serious mode engage. I think it's over. We're, we're pumping, chat. We have five melee. The squad is here. Reset his movement. This is gonna be nasty. They might not get another turn. I'm gonna be real with you. It might actually just be over right now. Yeah, there's no way you're surviving multiple hits from me. In fact, what I could do is... Let's kill this character first. Yeah, that went about as I ha how I thought it would. Do make it- or yeah, we could do make a ton crusher. Then I could do... Giant blade. Then I could do giant blade again. Then I could Blade Frenzy her. Holy. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to see what her other ability is, but she just got dunked. <laughs> like, that, that, like, she, we could realistically capture her. That's how bad she just got dunked on right now. Go ahead. Take, use your, use your last miserable turn. What are you even going to do? Why are you meleeing? Why are you meleeing? You have special abilities. Listen. We gave you a chance to show off your enemy abilities. You just refuse. You know what? If you refuse, I refuse. Goodbye. We got an achievement for killing the boss. Needless to say, the amount of money we got, a lot. It was a lot, Chad. The Lord PR has joined your party. So... Unlike some other scenarios, if you had been playing with just human characters, you actually get to keep her at the stats that she was at. Notice, chat, she has an absolutely disgusting accessory. Can we all agree? This accessory is busted. Like, look at this. Look at the stats. Gross. Speaking of which... I didn't really talk about this before, but some characters have special resistances. She has 99% resistance to everything, apparently. Dragon's Rage, Legendary Prayer's Formidable Strike, Performs a Miracle. Oh, hey chat, we finally got a healer. Chat, we did it. We we unlocked a healer. <laughs> it only it took until the cameo characters. We finally have a heal ability outside of Flan. And it's actually decent, but uh, yeah, that Arcadia does not belong to you. Funny enough, we can just replace it with a couple of these. And it's not even like the worst... It's not even like she has the worst stats right now. Like, we could just leave her as is, honestly. I might leave her sort of near the bottom in case chat wants to see her abilities, but... Yeah, spoilers, I don't think it matters. But you know what does matter? I think we could go replace one of our... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that stat bump, chat. Gross. Wait, what? Oh, because it is more attack than the chakra belt. Oh. Interesting. I mean... I think this just makes me immune to enemies now, for the most part. I really want to pump up my resistance as I can, but honestly, infernal armor kind of making me tanky. I think I'm okay with it. I don't think the attack trade-off is all that great. Because I have two 252s here, so that's fine. Do we have yet another spare test? <laughs> we just have spare testaments to give out, chat. I might as well see if somebody could wield this. We could give it to RJ Chaos. Can Chris get any other upgrades? The pump is in. Like slightly too weak. Yeah, if that... I was gonna say, if that had hit, that would have been worth it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it to RJ Chaos, because he probably has the most mediocre accessories. So that way he has more SP, more importantly. Group her slightly. So 
Alter, du bist nicht so. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Let's sort our items a little better. Really don't need these items in here. I've I've picked up a lot of bandit hands, but we're probably gonna use a few of them as we play. Although if we can't steal from the cameo characters, I might not need as many until we get to the end. Until we fight characters that we can't recruit into our party. But anyway, we just got a super legendary Arcadia. So if I really want to improve my stats, we could go do that. But anyway, we should be able to go to the Demon Hall mirror now. of the Cave of Ordeals. It's where they keep that magical mirror that reflects the power of the strong. That's interesting. I will beat every single demon here and prove that I, Laharl, am the most powerful demon in all the netherworld! Ally damage 80%? Uh. <laughs> right, chat? Uh. I could try to heal through it. I am kind Whoa, what is the range? Well, that range is kind of insane. I, I kind of just want to attack with this just to see what it is. All right, Chad? I mean, that's a that's a long distance attack. Let's turn on animation. So that damage was terrible. Poor shark. Yeah, that damage was actually terrible. Why was it so bad? It's not even like her stats are that low. She's got like 22,000 plus. Underwhelming. Okay, so what we could do is... Because I can't reach him directly, I could reduce how much damage we take here. Oh, right. Animations are still on. At least I could prevent myself from dying in two turns by doing that. Can hit the enemy, but I doubt I can one-shot him, so let's do this. Ooh, interesting. Target high problem. See how this goes. deal with these. I might not have needed to kill these, but it feels better just to have them off the field. Alright, let's see how much her Omega heal actually. Oh, we can do Dragon Rage. What's this ability look like? Did not do a ton of damage either. Well, I think they're trying to kill Gordon and Jennifer, so I'm gonna back them up a little more. I mean, if they want to disrespect me by not focusing on me, it's their loss, really. Yeah, we're gonna protect Jennifer by creating a wall. Could be GG. Welcome, Kirk. Wow, did you see the complete avoidance of our characters? Wow. They're, he's like, listen, I can't I can't melee them. And we made it to max level. We hit 9k. We're being disrespected right now by the enemy, which is very rude. I think what I'm gonna do is uh teach him a lesson. See how he likes being ignored. Bonk. Oh, that's so... Oh, can we get this kill on a human character? Can we? I do like a little bit of damage, but not kill. Oh no, that did too much. Damn. Oh well. 
an attempt was made. Also, I think I accidentally leveled Gordon and Jennifer. What level did they just get up to? 32. They went up 10 levels, okay. Yeah, Kirk, we might have, uh, yeah, Kirk hasn't seen this in a while, but, uh, we kind of have a re- I'm gonna move this over so I can see a little better. We kind of have Arcadia now, a little Testament, a little Chakra Belt, and a Super Mon Force. So it's gonna be kind of brutal. Although, sadly, I think, uh, Lucifer Force is better. So if we had upgraded a Lucifer Force, that would have been great, but we can't get a Lucifer Force unless we went to specific areas, including the item world, so that's fair. I don't think that was the final stage, right? Yeah, so that so it says Demon Hall Mirror and there's one, but there's more to do here. There should be a bonus character at the end of this. Yeah, like what what could they possibly do against these characters? Like this character has 76,000 defense. They this character now has 55,000. So he's going to take way less. It's just under turn. Go ahead. Can you even injure me? Nope. 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 Like, that that was their best attempt, chat. Like, this, this is the result of them trying to fight us. Like, okay. Fools. I don't think I could kill steal that. I thought about giving it to a human character. That seems like way too much effort to do. Now, that one, on the other hand, does not seem like a lot of effort at all. <laughs> so why don't we just give it to a human character? Uh... Give it to a parameter. What a fair and honorable duel that these two had. Yes, very fair. Ooh, if we weaken this guy up a little more, can I, can I do a little, a little softening? one of these. Oh, this is gonna kill them. I should have done another attack. My bad. I, I did not mean to team attack that. That was a mistake. Um... Is your resistance 3,800? Well, I mean, I could poke with Chris. I guess there's no downside to this. They are gonna heal a bit. Just a little unfortunate. I don't think Kirk can steal this kill, but I can always try to believe, I guess. Honestly, not that far away. Oh, we gave it to Rogue Nine. Okay. Rest in peace, all these human characters. You're about to perish. Kirk got deleted from this universe, chat. Can we talk about that? Like, that was just actual deletion. GG. Zombie is kind of tanky. Don't think we can afford to let the zombie do anything. I can tell to kick this one away to waste some time. The Delta Kick will keep our mages safe because Golem has no long range attacks. Like, see how he went for the other characters? Or, like, nah, you don't get to do anything. Well, that was 100,000 by itself. Cool. Let's let's give Chris an honest chance of getting this kill, otherwise I'll go to Imperameter. We're gonna go summon two more mages. Maybe overcome the magic resistance. It is surprising how useful our mages are, despite the level gap being like three times our level. Thank you, enemy weakness. Oh, so close. <laughs> Amount of hell acquired a lot. <laughs> right, chat? The answer is a lot. Uh I mean Kirk at 126, so Kirk got up there in levels. Just he can't really compete with uh end rank monsters that are triple his levels with items that are endgame items. 
We've seen how crazy the monsters scale in this game. A little, little bonkers. Oops. Eventually, we should get a bonus fight. What the heck is this? True Overlord. Enemy boost type warp? Ew! Chat, ew, it's a warp tile. Ew! Ew! <laughs> no, not warp tiles. I hate those. They're the worst. Oh, and no lifting. No, this is gonna take forever. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, oh, that's gross. <laughs> this, is, this is garbage. We could be here a while, chat. At least I'm damaging him. He would be dead so much faster if he didn't have stats times six. Okay, I could reach some of these. Okay, let's get rid of one of the enemy boosts. Alright, so we, we've... Times three divided, or we divided by two his stats. It should be much more doable. Yeah, suddenly suddenly we go from 10,000 to 100,000 damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, chat? Like, whatever. I'm summoning as many characters as I can right now. Although, before I do that, let's do you... Do you first... I am so happy we have geared up all these other characters. This area seems so annoying if I don't do this. So anyway. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's doing half damage. Yeah, get out of here. Right, is this another enemy multi- Oh, that's the deletion of the warp. No mercy. Get, get out of here, warp tiles. One of these enemy boosts. This one is. There we go, Chad. Now it's over. You you had your fun. How did that not kill? So sad. Okay, so he went from doing 12,000 to us to just missing. I think should, that should show you how broken the enemy multiplier was. I'm actually not sure how many Demon Hall fights there are, other than I know there's cameo characters at some point in this. So we'll keep going. Is this the start of the cameo fight? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, not the clone. Oh, no, 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 no. We, no, we can't do this. Oh no. Clone. Oh, that's garbage. Oh, how do we even deal with this? Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. I thought about it. There's one way we could deal with it. Do I have enough range? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to be able to move. One, two, three, four, five. And that should hit. Okay, so I think this should work. So we need to like immediately throw our characters to the back line. So I'm willing I'm willing to sacrifice some characters here, to be honest with you. This should be more than enough. Right, chat? Mm-mm. I'm not playing with your gimmick. Mm-mm. I could technically just go straight for the kill if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna send a message. Is this a bonus XP? Oh, this was bonus XP. This would have been so good. Let's use Dango. Look at that throw range shot. Nope. Oh. 
<laughs> Chat, when you, when you had enough, listen. It's over. Playtime's over. Enjoy your final turn. You Terra iced me. <laughs> right, chat. No escape. Die. <laughs> Not dealing with your gimmicks. Oh, she's actually pretty tanky. Look at that health total. Disgusting. You know what's funny? I could boot I could buff up her attack and it doesn't matter at all. You tried charming me? I don't think that works. Since I'm higher level than her. That would have been pretty bad, because I think that would have made our allies become enemies. But uh spoilers. I don't really care. Oh boy, Chad. Are you ready no for mercy! an absolutely disgusting stomp? The reminder, Chad. <clears throat> Even if I braveheart her, it counts towards the combo. I have like one. If she didn't kill both characters, that would have been huge, actually. They could do this. Do this. Oh, they could very easily reach. Damn, Chad. You can tell they're you can tell their staffs at a high level when I don't have to try at all. Like this is just easy for them to do. Like okay. Don't think she can reach. Sadly, if I had one more character, I could have even lifted them up and moved it. I think what I could do is do kind of a goofy buff. Oops, I do want. It's not going to necessarily hit everybody that I'm looking to hit, but it's better than nobody. Unless she could reach it from there. Oh, she can reach it from there. Just I couldn't, I couldn't see the indicator underneath her feet. But anyway, Chad, this is about to be a disgusting turn. So remember, every single hit is gonna count towards a combo. So Braveheart is adding 10% to our combo because I targeted the enemy. So this should just be GG. And I improve my damage. It's over. Get out of here. All right, Jack, get out of here. I love that our money just becomes super total, by the way. It just gives up. Like, how much money do we have? I look at it, I'm like, yes. We have a yes amount of cash right now. We have ca- we, we just- we have the cash. <laughs> if I really want to purchase anything, I could. I don't really want to. Also, I probably should have checked to see if she had better items. I could be giving up some items unintentionally. Okay, so it's another challenge stage. Act 100% ally damage 40%. They have a legendary apocalypse axe. Is that any good? Let me see. I imagine it's towards the end. I just don't know if it's actually like godlike or not. I'll get there eventually. One second, Chad. I'm doing the scrolling on the main site. Survey says Apocalypse is the strongest axe available for axe. Oh. I might have accidentally killed a super staff user then earlier. Aw. So if I could steal that, that's big stats. So I don't think anything really changes here. I just do. I'm trying to remember where our super throwers are. I think I only need one super thrower. I could be wrong. Is he only a four movement? Oh, you only. Okay, so I need another thrower. One super throw is enough to go the rest of the distance. I guess since I just need those characters, then I could just do two of these. I only need to get eight spaces thrown, I think, based off the map. I'd rather do something like this. I 
I want to hit the ally damage, I could just go ahead and eliminate that real quick. I mean, if we're able to steal it, I probably should, just to say we got one of the rank 40 items in the game. So I think I missed my opportunity on one weapon earlier, which is a bit of a shame. But we still have some other opportunities. Now thanks to me moving out of the way, I could just do this and throw a couple other characters. Let's see if we can get a good steal going. It's possible the game won't let us steal, but if it lets us steal, that's kind of insane. Oh. Ooh, took your axe! Goodbye! <laughs> okay. Wait, where's Etna? Oh, I threw her already. Damn. I wanted to clear the axes. Wow, look at this. Look at the stat line on this chat. Look at this. Holy. Triple gladiator. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what, what is this weapon? Maybe I should just make Kirk become an axe user. This I mean, like. Power. I mean, like, oh, <laughs> the stat line's a little silly. Hold on. Is that an improvement for Kirk, even though he has no upgrades and axe whatsoever? Wow. It is actually legitimately better for him to use axe because this thing is so broken. <laughs> I mean, like, sure, sure. I guess, I guess there's always, there's never a bad time to start your next S rank. Oh man, show us missile indeed. I mean, if you just casually get like super resist. I mean, ideally we get him back with the sword at some point, but like... Am I really going to say no to a 750 resist, 750 defense, and it gives him 800 health? Like, he, Craig is, like, actually just unkillable in most circumstances. And the worst part is, is if we upgrade this, it's going to be so broken. Oh, man. Actually, insan actual insanity. I did wish we had an axe user, but I, gu I guess this is the way to compensate, I guess. Send a return. That weapon description, though. I missed the weapon description. I was yeah. too distracted by stats. Let's see what it is by summoning Kirk again. I was in all. Oh, the axe, the end. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty accurate, honestly. Accurate out of 10, chat. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is... We need another character. We're going to do this. Tell this character to chill out over here or something. I'm gonna make their journey very annoying for them. Oh. Already through with him. That's fun. Do this. It's like, what happened? That I was like, oh, right. Chat, this carrot. Listen, we just took their axe away. They lost all of their stats. Like, go ahead, 100% fist fight me, fool. <laughs> right, chat? What are they gonna do? I'm just gonna gang up on them like this. Yeah, I think I missed an opportunity for a super weapon, so my bad, chat. The other monsters didn't seem that impressive, but these characters are starting to get kind of bonkers. Okay, so we we've half helped him, and he can only punch me. Oh no, he's got Terra Star. Oh no, you did like 10% of my health, or 20%. Oh, you showed me. Anyway, perish. We, mo we almost built up a bonus gauge, yeah. which is silly. But now they're just guaranteeing yeah. their death. How polite of them, question mark? Oh, I didn't see there was XP to, on the stage. Whoops. Could have gotten more free levels for our team. I'm sorry, what levels did they just hit? Oh, Plinier went from level 7 to level 37, by the way, chat. 
She's been sitting at the game at her base level up until that moment. And she has now received levels, so yay, I guess. She did it. She leveled somehow. Also, Etna getting experience is funny. Yeah, we have a level fit. Like, we actually have, like, an honest, tanky, brawler, chucker character at 7,000 health. That would have been really annoying for the enemy to get through normally. Uh, I don't want to shop yet. Oh, I just casually have a... Oh, that, that sword's not bad, actually. The Yorondite. It's not the best, but... Well... Let's see if I need to get more bandit hands or not. I'm hoping not. I bought a lot of them off stream, but I didn't realize Demon Hall was going to have this many fights. I probably should have looked up some information on it. But hey, here we are. Everything's a surprise. Oh, cameo, I think. Here we go, chat. Dot, 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 dot. I mean, if you know who this character is, you've been playing the Disgaea series. <laughs> like a demon. Hmm. It doesn't matter how you look, the strongest always wins. Come on, red hair, let's make this fun. Oh, did they not give the character a voice line? X plus three. Anyway, we're fighting. Oh, look, Chatty, is it a Mon Force and a Testament? Hmm. So anyway, this character is the protagonist of Disgaea 2. Just, by, just yes. By the way, we, we're probably gonna rob him. I mean, his stats aren't even that crazy, honestly. As long as we don't have stronger enemy, Bill, not that bad. I think what we're gonna do is oh, our rogues level. Nice, they are level thirty-seven now. We're gonna make sure our best characters get a big chuck. Oh, no lifting. Boo. Just saw it too late, my bad. Well, I'll walk forward menacingly, I guess. Pedal the red, exactly. Alright, we got we got the squad. If he wants to walk forward and attack us, I'm robbing him. Like that's all he did, chat? That's that's what I'm supposed to be scared of. Hmm. Chat, you hate to see it happen. Oh, oh, chat, that's such a shame. What happened to his equipment? Chat, where'd it go? Oh no, someone report a robbery. <laughs> anyway. I guess we'll just attack him times a million at some point. Why not? Oh no, Chad. This is not looking good for our, our uh, other hero here. Are you ready for like a super combo? This should be disgusting amounts of damage. You know what the worst part is? I think I can form like a super chain. Right? If I just tell all these basic characters to attack. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so stupid. How much damage could we rack on him with just melee? <laughs> He's getting actually wrecked right now, chat. Help him! Help him, chat! Get him out of the loop! He's in the loop! Oh my gosh. Well, something tells me we were going to build some bonus meter here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Is he dead? No way. He just got combo killed. Look at the bonus gauge. Oh my gosh. Holy. Actually deleted. Oh, hey, Chakra Belt. Yeah, he got deleted, chat. Rest in peace. 
played it. So we're using Chakra Belt currently. Is this any good? Oh, another Amon Forest. Um, honestly, like, I don't think we're going to get many upgrades here. Oh, you're using Lucifer Forest? You don't need that. Get out of here. Go to somebody else. Somebody else more deserving. I mean, that's kind of a big upgrade for us, Chad. I'm not going to lie. 80,000 defense. I don't think this character could be hurt anymore. I could be mistaken. It's not even like she's that much weaker than before. That's the funny part. Like, the stats on this are just, like, so absolutely insane and broken. <clears throat> sure. You know what? You know what, Vadaris? We'll, we'll improve your weapon. So we're at a lot of money. Checks out. I have a 125 estimate. It's weird that testament is just not useful to us anymore. We, we are so overstatted right now. We're just like, listen. Our items are kind of insane. I could improve... Uh, but RJ Chaos has a lot of SP if I do that. I could give it to her. She has been like one of our tankiest characters. That'd be the worst idea ever. Who's one SP? Not worth. Yeah, we're at the point where like Feather Token is just genuinely not useful on any character, which is a good thing. It shows you how far we've come in terms of equipment quality. If I just want to give one of our random other characters something, I guess I could. Like, sure, Medeiros, you also could get a buff. I don't really care. So... At this point... I still don't need to get rid of any ban- We don't have to shop for bandits yet. You can see we're starting to get through them. That means I have a total of 16 in the inventory. We have, like, two major enemies I can think of that we'd want to steal from, but there's also another fight in here. So I don't think we hit the end. This place again? I didn't think there were many who were stronger than that red hair. <laughs> Chat, I, I don't think he was very strong. I <laughs> think he just got combo killed. <laughs> he actually got deleted. Another cameo chat. Oh, this time it's the female protagonist from Disguise 2. She is pretty busty. Not the kind of girl that you're into. She looks kind of mad. That powerful aura. She's no ordinary debutante. Very well. She's a worthy opponent. I, Lahara, will make her kneel before me. Okay, what's the gimmick of the stage? Is it like... Ooh. Both of them are here. Oh, she has a Nemesis and an Exodus. Ooh, her stats are insane. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are these stats? She has 99,000 right now? Oh, no, chat. That's... Oh, and no lifting? Ooh. That's kind of rough. I mean, that's... That puts her at 300,000 attack right now. That could be really, really bad for us. Um... Man, with no lifting, that is kind of brutal. Uh, well, we're gonna do the strategy of flood the field. We need to reach those prisms at any cost. I'm willing to have everybody die if I need them to. I I don't think she can hit me from here. So I'm gonna go in the corner, just in case she has, like, an absolutely broken magic attack range. If she hits me from here, I'm gonna shake my head, chat. Like, look how far I am from her. She better not be able to hit me from here. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty far away. But we're definitely brave parting, because we need to make sure that we have a group of characters that can one-shot through the enemy boosts. In fact, what I could do temporarily is move this character here. Just to make sure more people get bravehearted.
Mm. Okay, we're we're in serious mode, right, chat? A lot of setups. That is a lot of stats right now on most of these characters. Okay, they're moving forward. Almost got deleted there. Alright, so we're definitely hiding our mages. Now, if we can disarm her, we might be fine, but we, we need to steal from her. No questions asked. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is good enough level. Can I get you to steal something from him? Nice. So we nerfed his stats. Good. Let's come up to her and steal her weapon. One. Nice. Okay, we took it. There we go. Oh, there we go. 30,000 less attack. That's actually huge. The drive-by stealing is real. Ooh, sucks to be you, right, chat? Oh, the drive-by. Fine. I don't even need to do damage. I just need to just delay them. Damn, they actually just got straight up robbed. Damn, that's a big stat nerf. Let's see what she uses. There we go. Oh man, that damage is insane. Did she just kill somebody? Wow. Huh. That's still insanely high damage. Alright, where's the... I need to get to the no lift. Well, that's enemy boost times three. Like, we need to get rid of that, or we're not going to survive. Okay, we've now cut her damage down. So, still a lot of damage we just took. Um, we might be fine now. Might be through the hardest part. I want to keep the recovery on for now. I'd like to get rid of the no lifting, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Let's kill our companion. How much damage we do with this? Although, at the rate we're damaging him, we might actually have to remove the recovery. We'll see. Yeah, they're doing significantly less damage. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what she does, and that'll determine if I need to remove the recovery. She hit her ally, for some reason. Okay. As long as I don't die here, it might just be worth doing this. So he healed 299,000. Damn. Maybe I do need to get rid of it. The fact that she's doing this much damage is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I can actually kill them at this rate. I mean, I definitely want to heal. No question about that. Oh, her range is terrible. Oh. All right, chat, that kind of complicates things. that's better than nothing. I can't tell if I'm actually losing more health or gaining more health. I think what I need to do is... I think I do need to eliminate this. That way I can finally get a kill. But, I need to do something else. So we unfortunately did lose a couple characters. Uh, let's have... Chris come in and buff some characters. We're gonna make sure she can't walk to us. Probably, like, the biggest threat is that she could do this. We're gonna move our characters temporarily like this. I think one of my level 9000s is still at full health, which is fine. Alright, we're gonna move them all the way over here. We're gonna go ahead and buff. We're gonna go ahead and buff. And this should help significantly with our damage output. 
that should help with their health recovery slash the life differences right now. But right now, she can only go over here, so she might be able to kill this character, I'm not sure. But more importantly, we can build up a nice combo. And then this character, who's our other 9,000, can start attacking. We could start doing, let's say, with you first. And you. And you. You. Yeah, this should be much better in terms of damage. So he'll be dead in a couple of turns, it looks like. That's good. We might lose one of our characters here, which is fine. He attacked one of our stronger characters for some reason? Okay. So I could try to stall the death of one of our characters by doing this. The so Mega Heal actually somewhat useful here. I can s just delay it longer. Because of the way I'm positioned, she hasn't really bothered to hit the other characters at all. It means I could probably just cut her off now. I can afford to do stuff like this to box her in instead. Let's do... Probably something like this. Let's start to get our Braveheart bonuses up. So we should just outscale her now. As long as I don't get too greedy here. Hopefully that doesn't put us in range of whatever attacks. Let's see. Uh... This is a little risky. I'm gonna go for it. It should still be fine. But I think putting double Braveheart on every turn is kind of mandatory. And we could cut her off from going this way, so she has to go the long way. So she might be able to reach us? I'm not sure. But either way, this is gonna be a big, big amount of damage to this character. She's not really... She's hurting our 4,000 character versus, like, our 9,000. Do you know what I mean? Like, she she is slowly chipping away at the 7k, but if, like, that's all she's doing, I don't think I really care. So Del's almost dead. That'll free up more characters. He's putting himself in kill range, I think, next turn. Yeah, so he's almost dead. And we could do... Spinning Slash into Blade Frenzy. So we're already hurting her. I'm not super worried about killing her, but she is really tanky. So we're going to have to hopefully survive with Braveheart. Might be dead mages here. One dead mage. Could be worse. Honestly, that could have been much worse. Because you have to think about it this way. We're going to get to a point where we could just surround her with four characters and then it's over. You know what I mean? Like, we're we're basically at that point now, to be honest. Yeah, was that Chris or Imperameter? Imperameter got absolutely assassinated. So we could bring this character here. Buff this character. Buff this character. Buff this character. Actually, do we even need to... No, I can instead do... This. I think this is within range. All we need to do is just move over here a bit more. We're definitely not lined up with her, essentially. realize the problem. I don't think I could kill him with just two people. Uh, we might lose a mage here, but I'll still have a mage for later. But I think the only thing I really need to do is heal one of our other here. This should be good enough to stall, and I could replace her with a mage next turn. We'll do something like this. Alright, so at least He's recovered most of the damage that they've taken. I don't think she can out-damage the Omega Heal. 
I think in Parame or I think Chris is dead here. I don't think I could save him. I was thinking about the damage we were gonna deal, and I was like, oh right, I don't have a special that I can use on this character. So I needed to use all my characters to kill. I mean, I could kind of stall her by doing this. Maybe this will work. She'd have to go the long way around, but I'm pretty sure she could reach how she's positioned. I could try to do... Something like this to cut her off a bit more. I think she could still reach, though, sadly. I could do this to cut her off a bit more. Yeah, I needed to move in Parameter, I think, one more space. He would have been fine. But on the plus side, he's already injured. Rip mage. Let's put away our weakest characters. We could completely surround her with our 9,000s if we want to. I definitely do. 7k still is not recovered from Confused, which is kind of annoying. I guess what I can do is summon... Can I really not reach the base there? That is so awkward. But for now, let's summon... Two mages for buffs? Just move them in the exact opposite direction of where we are currently. I want her as far as possible. I'm doing it in a way that I don't really line up with anybody. As long as we keep pumping our damage here with like two mages a turn, I think we'll be fine. I'm so sad this character is not in range to do anything yet. So now she can't move, because I could cut her off completely. But as long as I'm not, like, directly lined up with her, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Then I can replace one of the other characters. Do Spinning Slash and a normal attack. The Blade Frenzy. The Blade Frenzy. This should do some decent damage. Thanks to all the Brave Hearts. If we didn't have Braveheart, this would definitely take way longer, but this is fine. Remember, the more they struggle, the better stats we get. So if we have a character that survives this, we could end up with a really high XP item. Although I noticed the Mon Force is legendary, or not legendary, is rare there. That would actually be an upgrade for us. That's a shame. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she doesn't kill us. Oh, that's all she did. Oh, I think we can agree, chat. She is hosed. If that is the best she can muster, it is now over. So now what we can start doing is I can bring another character out. Sure, let's have RJ Chaos come out. All we gotta do is just group up our characters for a moment. I think we could very easily do. So now our stats are going to start scaling into the heavens. Always nice. I could Braveheart her, but... I think even though she's using a gun like she was in the Disgaea 2 game, I think it probably still calculates based off of damage versus hit. I doubt they did anything special to make her ignore the current weapon she's using. But who knows, maybe they did. Oh yeah, there we go, big damage. So we should be able to get at least a Chaos Orb. And I can move a little further out of the way if I'm not feeling sure about our safety. I think at this point, what I could also do to try to build up meter is I think we could realistically get a Mon Force at this point. 
What if I put these other characters away? And just try to get, like, a stupid tag team going. Good magic booster. I guess there's no downside to this. I don't really care. Let's just try to get a big combo in order to get more team attacks. Let's see what happens. better. Oh, she actually used a new ability. Wow, that character is basically dead. Um, I guess I could summon them briefly. To barely not go back in, that really sucks. Team attacks, give us better stuff. But she's not doing very much damage. At this point, we're just kind of messing with her. I can put that character away pretty safely. I'd like the mage to be able to get back in so we could get more team attacks. Honestly, at this point, she's kind of in trouble with just normal attacks. Let's bring in another character. Here would be best. Do something like this. Yeah, team attacks, I think, build up the most combo meter. This should add a lot. And if she dies to the combo, we get way more. Yeah, so like one more combo like that and we can actually kill her. Hoping we don't accidentally kill her with normals before we get it. It'd be amazing if we got it, but it's gonna be super tight. I could disrespect- you know what? I might have to disrespect heal her. She actually lives in the combo. <laughs> I'm actually gonna disrespect heal her, chat. Hold on, we're, we're going in. Max disrespect. Oh, that didn't build. Oh, that didn't build meter. Oh, interesting. If you heal, it doesn't build bonus gauge. I did not know that. Huh. Six extra get you doing to this sometimes that. Huh? Yep, welcome to uh normal disguise things. Oh that's unfortunate. We didn't even build meter off of that. I have to hit her with weaker stuff. Let's see, hopefully she doesn't die here. Or if she dies, she should at least die to the combo attacks versus the counter attacks. If we kill with the combo, we get more meter, for sure. Then I'll heal her afterwards so we could get a guaranteed meter. So close. Let's uh just make sure she survives a little longer, chat. <laughs> See now now we're going for pure disrespect. Like there's just there's just nothing nice about what I'm doing. I'm just being actually abusive. Okay, so we should be good now. That way she doesn't die to some stupid counterattack. Let's see, this should give it to us, and then I'm just gonna actually kill her for real. Oh, we didn't get a team attack there. That sucks. She's looking pretty low. Oh okay, yeah, we got him on force. And hey, if I draw it out, I could get more XP. <laughs> Right, chat? Hmm. 
Maybe. See, now we're just toying with her. She she was dead a long time ago. I'm, we're going. We're just going the max disrespect route, honestly, at the moment. They've been standing near each other so long, our odds of team attacking are basically 90%, which is so gross. I think she'll die one more team attack from now. No visible health. Please don't kill her with a counter attack. Okay, good. Alright, so we're guaranteed to kill her next turn. So I can have some of our remaining party members level off of this. In theory, if I team attack, I could share the experience with other characters. Like, for example, put these characters away. And then I could... I don't know. Sure, we'll have Rogue Nine join in, because why not? We'll have Kirk join in. Why not? Sure. Why, why not, chat? Why not? This should kill. There we go. We split that XP, chat. Look at that XP we're about to gain. Disrespectful. Oh, oh yeah, chat. We struggled. Samba, indeed. I didn't sense that aura when we came here last time. I wonder why. Who knows? Maybe she got mad because you defeated that red hair. You don't really believe that, do you? Oh, you noticed? I don't care why she came here. All that matters is that I won. Oh, Aw, oh, come on. You gotta learn how to use your imagination. Like, maybe they're the next main characters. Mm-hmm, little fourth wall breaking there. You idiot! The next main character will obviously be me again! You never know. Anything can happen in the netherworld. There we go. I think that's... Oh, new, al new ally join party. Oh, we just keep them? Oh. Wait, I duped his Amon. Wait a minute. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, chat, look at the, look at the weapon. What the heck is this? Oh no. Um, well, that's a small stat increase. <laughs> I didn't think we would get that. Um, well, I think the game is over. I will, I'm willing to state, I think I think it's over. I got almost they almost matched in rank. What a ridiculous item. <laughs> this one is special. What an honestly completely broken and ridiculous item. I don't even know what to say. Oh hey, we can uh put our Amon Force on our other characters, I guess. Oh wait. Hey, why is there so many stats? Oh, it's just we lose defense. That's fine. I think I really care about that. I don't think I have a 254, right? I mean, I'm not gonna say no to a free upgrade, but... Oh yeah, that's right, I have another one, technically. I mean, like, I could use her. Her stats are decent, but... I'll, I'll give her double exodus to make up for the fact that I'm removing this from her. No, her stats aren't terrible, just I don't really feel like using her. I can have another nemesis on one of these. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could give her this if I want to. Sure, let's give him attack power. Absolutely disgusting right now, chat. Actually, just outright disgusting damage. I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is just, like, so much better than what we're doing. Right, I lose some defense, but I gain some attack. Maybe that's not actually worth it. You know what? She can have Exodus back. I, 
I, I actually don't think I need Exodus at all, unless I really want to uh, put it on Kirk or something. It's kind of funny. We just decide to do that. Like, it's not bad stat-wise. Uh, eh, it's not like enough to warrant it, I think. We'll leave it on her, I guess. I can't believe we're not going to equip the Exodus, but I honestly don't think it's worth it. But anyway, we have some super armor slash super weapons if I really want to get small upgrades in here. I don't think for the most part it matters at all. I could make Thursday super godlike for no reason, I guess. That might amuse Chan. How many banded hands do I have left? We've, we've eaten through quite a few of them, to be honest with you. We still don't need to go back to the bank. Hopefully I won't need to before the end of the game. Yeah, we now have some completely insano things. All oh, Chaos Orb didn't drop with anything good. Man, if this had come with Int, this would have been, like, super good for us. Disappointing. Although it is funny we have a Chakra Belt here. Which, again, is a lot of attack power. Which, I guess, in theory, I could put on one of the other characters if I wanted more attack power. I guess I didn't see what the stats would be if I used it. So I could hit a lot of stats, but that's fine. Oh, I could bring up a, him up to 70,000. That's fine. Yeah, we have a lot of kind of mediocre items, which is unfortunate. Let's... Let's sell items. I don't necessarily want to shop. I just want to not have to go through this menuing. Don't need these. Bow's terrible. I'll keep the legendary if we want to mess around with it in another playthrough. Dragonheart, we don't need it all. I'll need this. Infernal Cape, I'll check to see if it's an upgrade. Most of these are not worth it at this point. Like King's Orb, I could get rid of. Honestly, I don't even need Imperial Seal anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of it and the chocolate. So we're at a lot of cash. I'm not sure what happens if we revisit that area, but man oh man, chat, we got a disgusting, disgusting amount of attack increase. I mean, the fact that it puts him at 70, like this character is now at 91,000 defense, which might mean I can actually survive the Uber boss hitting me. Because that is, uh, you know, getting 20,000 defense is not insignificant at this point. Okay, what happens if I go back there? Is there another fight? There's more fights? Oh, this is for- this is like your bonus for clearing it. Okay. So this is just another way to potentially power up. Got it. Well... I mean, I guess I might as well show off their moves, because we barely got to see them. Let's do, uh, Soaring Fire. We'll probably see this in our Disgaea 2 playthrough. Unless I decide not to use the protagonist, I guess. Yeah, let's see what these look like. Oh. Forgot. I did enemy animations, not ally animations. Whoops. Well, on the plus side, chat, we basically have walking gods. So, for all the people going in the item world, looping through to make sure you had better items. Not even needed. Legit, just not even needed. Uh, let's see. Should just be a dive kick, yeah. You know what? They, they actually have, like... She is really broken. I'm not gonna lie, the fact that she's only level 2,500 and has 80,000 attack is kind of, like, insano to me. Let's see the attack we didn't get to see. I noticed I don't hear any voices for the characters. I wonder if they just don't have voice actors and actresses. So he managed to gain a level. I mean, she's so tanky that, like, she legit just... I don't think she could die, to be honest with you, chat. Like, 497,000 health, that's more than our other characters. Like, she has more attack than our 5k characters. 
So she's a really good backup character. Adele's okay. I mean, normally Adele would be, like, fantastic. He's kind of a counter master. So, still pretty good. I'm going to save, and if we see the same formation again, I just leave. Yeah, that was quite an adventure. Alright, it's the same formation. So once you're done, you're done. There. Let's quit. Let's go back. So we still have more. We haven't reached the uber boss yet, chat. I think we're almost at the point. I'm going to try that other fight we saw earlier. Let's go to Beauty Castle. Because the other one was rank 65. So if we're doing them in order... Oh, there's an Amon Force. I don't care about Belial Force. So we're kind of at the point where if I just want to level these characters, I guess I could. In theory, they could get good stats. Damage was not that great there. What was their defense? Wait, how did that only do... Wait. She had 79,000 to 6,000? She only did 20,000? What? That ratio is a little whack. How much are they going to do to her here? Nothing. Yeah, it seems about right. Oh, by the way, there's another move we haven't seen. Let's uh, use the Demon Buster. Fucking blaze, chat. There we go. Sure you can, chat. I think that's one of his later attacks. There we go. We're too cool to look at explosions. So just the two of them alone are so strong that because we cleared it, we could legitimately just beat the remaining areas without any other characters. <laughs> So, I mean, that should tell you about their power level. It's a little high, chat. A little teeny bit. Yeah, they struggle a little bit in damage. I know I unequipped one of the weapons from them, but, like... E even then, it's just, like... I, I feel like Adele is a little too weak. She... Rosalind is, like, broken, for sure. The fact I could do this is kind of insane. I just have an AoE delete button. But now at this point, so we've seen their damage. What is this damage? I must know, chat, right? Not even, no contest. No contest, chat. So yeah, we have a lot of backup characters, it looks like. Adele is a little too weak for us to use. Even if I give him all the super buffs, he'll be, like, third best. Maybe second best. With everything possible, which is, I don't think, worth it. Beauty of evil. Ooh. Oh, we're going straight to the cameo. Hmm. This energy. Who's there? Show yourself! A woman? Don't let your guard down. She's strong. Using all that makeup to hide her wrinkles. To find gravity with that push-up bra. Wearing such a skimpy outfit at her age. It can't be. The most malevolent witch in the entire galaxy. If that's true, this is a golden opportunity. We'll see which one of us deserves to be called the most malevolent. Yeah, they don't have any voices. That's kind of disappointing. I think her name's like Marjorie or something. Yeah, so she has a ridiculous weapon. If you notice, chat, she has nothing but uh, legendary items. They're all named after, I think, characters from the game. I want to say it's like Pucel Tactics. And you can see that, contrary to the other characters, she has nothing but Terra abilities. So her stats are kind of insane. I'm like, I don't like her character model. I think her portrait looks cool, though. Yeah, Dark Conjuration it should be pretty nasty. I doubt it'll let me steal anything here. Nothing worthwhile in here. Though, honestly, at this point, I think it's, uh... 
I think it's just walk forward and, ass and assert dominance time. I don't even think I need to worry about getting damaged here at all. Yeah, see, she's... Rosalind's on par with our third... As, like, third or fourth best. We only took one item from her. And to be fair, we added double Exodus to make up for one of the item losses. Wow. What, her base movement is six? That's kind of gross. Oh, that did, like, legit zero. Is it, like, int base or is it hit? I don't understand why her damage is so low. It should be, like, way higher than it is. I don't know if it's, like... How her damage is calculated. I should look it up later. Okay, that did nothing. I mean, it hurt Adele, but like everything does, so that's not really a surprise. Can I steal from her? I cannot. Okay. No item duping for me, apparently. So I think then at this point, what we can end up doing is something like this. Speed it up a little bit. No bonus XP, right? Okay, no bonus. I think the smart thing to do would it be to actually Braveheart and then walk them out of range. I think that would be the, the galaxy brain play to avoid getting assassinated instantly. Uh, I'm gonna respect her range as a mage and move like really far away. Uh, what about a bait character over here? We now have some super stats across all of these characters. I could surround her here, I block her off here. But now she's just kind of hosed. I think Chat could agree, she is not in a good position whatsoever. As long as we kill like these characters, I don't think I have anything to worry about. Let's use Vulcan Blaze, then we'll use... I guess a normal... Oh, she has, like, literally Disgaea 2 pistol range. Interesting. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll smack her with several Blade Frenzies. How much she likes that. Probably not very much, but I guess. Let's see her health bar. Ooh. Ooh, she almost died. Alright, so... That should be good. Oh, I have one more character. Or I don't think that you know what? This doesn't matter. This. Here goes. Here goes. You Omega healed yourself? You didn't even get injured yet. Disgaea AI. Hey chat, Disgaea AI. What was that? <laughs> why why did you heal yourself when you're at full health? <laughs> Just, I mean like listen, if they want to make it easy for me, I'm not gonna say no, but it feels like a little misplaced. This one is very special. This is about to be a very, very, very nasty combo. I don't get anything for a combo, right? Okay, that doesn't matter. We're we're setting up for the Omega kill chat. Like, listen, she she is so done right now. Say goodbye to her, chat. She's not living this turn. I think she's just dead from this, to be honest with you. Bonk. Oh, she barely lived. Whatever. Only she didn't have crazy stats. Goodbye. Bonk. Got an achievement for killing her. I mean, I think we can agree, chat. This fight was much easier than the other one. Goodbye. No turn for you. Marginally has joined your party. You know what the best part about this is, chat? We- Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> chat. Oh. Oh, no. That's a little strong. Keepsake left behind by a vassal. That's 250 attack, which is not that impressive. Ooh, Crowdy is beauty. Nice. We're taking that off her. I might leave her with int. She might be an int base character. Which at this point, you know, if she's int base, I don't want int stuff. We could kind of make up for that by giving her some int. 
The fact that 150 int becomes almost a thousand something, maybe it's like a times 10 multiplier, is like so dumb to me. Don't understand. Sure, we'll give her Mahogany's Brain. Oh no, it's a weapon she needs to wield. Um... Sure, then she can have... Anything? Because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, if she's int based, I don't really care. I mean, she's our super mage now, if I really want to use her magic, but I kind of don't at this point. I mean, we could unequip her cat ears, I guess, to then make a super mage. So if I just wanted to give it to Imperameter or whatever. Poor Chris. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I guess I can slightly improve his stats. Let's give him... Bravery belts or something, so at least he does some damage. I guess that's fair. I love that I have two nemesis. Like, I just don't even know how to interpret what's happening. So this character is 98,000. She has 93,000. Maybe it's better just to give her the cat soul? She ends up being overall tankier than the other character by quite a bit. Yeah, maybe this is worth it. I'm getting a lot of, like, rank 4s, but I'm not gonna reset so that the numbers match. If this was, like, if this was, like, a rank 3, we would be getting some super stats. Yeah, we have a rank 4 nemesis, which doesn't help us, but we don't have a rank 4 stat booster here. Unfortunate. Oh, wait, hold on, we have... Wait, do we have a rank 3? We do. Interesting. So if it wasn't Chakra Belt, we end up with like super stats with a really crappy legendary. So that kind of goes to show that if you can match these up, you could get really strong characters, but I don't think that's going to happen for us. 254 is killing me. I feel like we should have had better. I can oh, you know what I should do? Uh, we have a spare Lucifer's Force. If she's int-based, it just makes sense to give her something that actually- one of the only things that raises int, we should probably give it to her. So we nerfed her a little bit, but the trade-off is I now have, like, three ungodly powerful broken characters, so do with that information as you will. Oh yeah, we have Crowding as Beauty, which I didn't equip yet. What rank is that? That's a rank one. Damn, every rank is different. Oh, oh no, chat. Oh no. Um. Wow, that attack power right now, chat, is a little high. I could give a chakra belt here. That'd be good for him. So we made Adele a little better, at least. Just needed a couple of belts to make up for his kind of mediocre stats. And otherwise, he's about as tanky as he's probably gonna get. Okay. So we now have an army of bonus characters. We're still not done. Yeah, tonight has been just a pure stomp for <laughs> the past two hours. Oh, look at that chat. We unlocked Vale's castle automatically. Well, we're gonna be going there very soon. It snuck in there. A little, little sneaky upgrade there. Oh, is that, oh, actually, that might be... If we revisit out of curiosity, what's actually here? Not that I plan on fighting it. Endgame sword. Okay, staffs. Although it says we don't have the carry something or ever. I should actually check to see what the endgame staff name is. I don't think it's that. The endgame staff is omniscient staff, so no. That's a rank 37 staff, but it's weaker than infernal staff, so yeah, not worth it. I could fight for a Chakra Belt if I really want to, which is not a bad item. As you saw before, we are equipping it on, like, our third and fourth best character. But chat, before we go to one of the final bosses of the game, uh, I think we need to get our revenge on this nonsense. There's a sacred tome that makes any wish come true. Looks like this could be it. Want to try it out, Prince? You're just 
using me as an experiment, aren't you? Yep. Is there a problem with that? Show me more respect! Besides, we have printies for this sort of thing. Come on, Prince. I was just joking. But if you're not going to use it, then I'll try it out. Let's see. Exclamation mark, question mark. What? What is this amazing power? Uh-oh. I think I pissed it off. Ugh! A book dares to challenge me? <laughs> how amusing! Let's see how you like the fires of hell! So anyway, that is Zeta from Makai Kingdom. Who is now not level 9000. Oh, that's right, chat. We can get another nemesis. Oh my gosh. With so many broken endgame legendary weapons. Man. Chat, could you imagine grinding out for real items? and not knowing how broken the stealables are in this game. Could you imagine someone spending like hundreds of hours for it? I don't want to I don't want to do that. Well, anyway, here's a problem. We have a lot of nonsense occurring here. So let, let's observe the field. So it's like a puzzle. We have blue, which I can damage to green, and that's going to make everything enemy boost times 3. So that's not great. I don't have the ability to... Oh, there is a yellow here. So I can get rid of no lifting. Oh, okay. So I think I would have to throw across the gap in order to hit... Where's the other thing? Here it is. The enemy boost. So I'd have to throw across the gap if I want to get rid of this. Honestly, I don't think it matters. The only character I'm worried about is this one. He's the only- but he can't possibly have enemy boost times three. So honestly, maybe I just don't care. <laughs> I think we're almost at the point where I don't have to solve the puzzle. I think the puzzle is just I murder everything and the only thing I need to avoid is ally damage 80% because that's too powerful. I think what I gotta do here is... she's got a movement of six? Doubt she can lift a character. That's kind of the downside of the new characters. We need them to be, like, kind of good, but... Let's throw a Sacrificial Lamb. Maybe if I move further back, I won't get attacked? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I don't think that's good enough. I think I need to hit this one. How do I... I have to be able to... The jump of nine. What's your jump score? Seventeen. That's not great. So I ha I could go one, two, three, four. So I have to land here. So I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two thieves. Okay. We we mapped it out, Chad. I need two thieves, and then we should be fine. Because essentially, once I can reach one, I kill all the other ones. And then if those other characters die, it's whatever at that point. It shouldn't matter. I'm also not sure if her range can just straight up assassinate them. I guess I should check that first. Oh, her spell range is garbage. What about Dark Conjuration? Oh, it's like a massive AoE. Hmm. I'm willing to experiment here. That involves using less characters, which I would rather do. Is she good enough to one-shot these? They don't have a lot of health. So it might be just good enough to do something like this. This is a height difference of... 19? That hit? It will. Alright, let's turn on the animation and see what this is like. Something decent damage. That's gonna turn everything green, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I mostly just want to make sure. Oh, I got another color. Boom. 
So mostly I just need to get to the end now. So what I can do is slap these enemies silly. Okay, even with enemy boost times three, we almost one shot. That should tell you how strong we are, chat. Like, listen, does not matter. So the other enemy boost is like way over there. So I could snipe it. Or I could just straight up manhandle all these enemies, which honestly at this rate, I think we could just do. So I need to be able to throw somebody through this. So I'd have to throw from like over here, or I could even throw from here, over here. So I could have her thrown over there if she survives, I guess. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she survives. She might not. Oh. Or, wow, that's... Oh, and no super dead, but that's fine. That was a surprisingly low amount of damage to us, despite enemy boost times three. All right, the boss is now within range of us. Can I go take his items real quick? Come on. Alright, chat, come on. Okay, so we just nerf we just nerfed it. Oh, he lost fifty thousand in attack. Oh man, the nerf. Oh, that was brutal. That was actually just brutal. Wait, can she not move anywhere? She's actually stuck. Wow, that was painful. I'm not even gonna fight the boss. I think now that we've done that, I think it's actually just over for the boss. I'm not really worried about them. These enemies have about as much stats as he does. He he, And we can take Arcadia from him, too. Oh my gosh. I want to see his attacks, but let's see how it goes here. Oh, I might accidentally hit myself here. Kind of annoying. Um, and her magic is good, but she's going to take a lot of damage here. Let's... Focus on some combo damage. I mean, it th I was gonna go and buff up, but honestly, like, we are so high damaging, I don't think it matters anymore. As long as we eliminate, like, a couple of these, I think we're fine. Keep in mind, this is with triple stats. This is what's happening. Oh, she didn't even get to attack. That's a shame. Okay, I can finally move with her, which is good. Zeta Beam legitimately did zero damage to us. Oh, that is embarrassing. Oh, chat, that is so embarrassing. Imagine being a boss and your signature move did literally zero. Big yikes on that boss. I mean, you better teleport away in shame. That was embarrassing. So we can turn on the green blue, and I think that will get rid of all the remaining ones. I don't really care about warp at all. The boss wants to waste its own turns, I don't really care. So at this point, I just need to kind of nuke the enemy a little more. Let's try to help her out. Wait, why'd that do zero? What? It must be magic based. There... Uh, to me, like, there's no way. If that was defense, that made no sense. But if it was magic, that would make sense. So if Rose... If Rose Liberation is magic, maybe Thorns is attack? Because Thorns definitely seems to do damage. I don't know. It's one of those things where I would just have to look it up. I don't understand the damage formula there. If that was any other attack, it would have been like six trillion. The boss, the enemy would have died. Oh, that actually just one shot straight up for real. Uh, we'll do spinning slash. So at this point, I I'm so powerful. I don't even need to use mages. Is a disgusting statement to be out in the post game. <laughs> I'm just like, I would not have thought we were going to get this strong. Yet here we are. 
I still can't leave. It's annoying. She's the only character in danger of dying at the moment. It's mostly due to the triple. St oh my gosh. Chat, no. 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 Run from me. No. Right, chat? No. No, I can steal from you. Run. Do you even have any items? No, you don't. No. So lucky. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's only at 30,000 attack. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> that's, the, that's not fair. <laughs> His stats are so low right now. They're so bad, I might even just... I don't even need to do anything. I think it's just over. Okay, there we go. I leveled with her. Congratulations. I wish she had a cure ability on her. Bean. Okay, it's definitely resistance that her magic attack was earlier. Let's see, let's move over here. Oh my god, we stole his health. Oh no, come on. We'll turn on enemy effects, but I think it's over. I think it's, I think it's like actually unironically over. Like this boss is so done. What is it gonna do to us? I can throw people across the gap because I've killed so many people at this point. I can move her to safety if I need to. I might as well just put her up here or something. Hopefully the boss does a nice move before it dies. Wait, somebody's an execute? Oh, that's right. I, I think this boss is done. We can get more XP though, so we leave people behind when we're done. I mean, the fact that I have monsters I don't even need to use, I can just put them away, is disgusting. Alright, show us a cool attack. It's your, this is your chance, game. Oh, we know his hear his voice clip. Shame. All right, you're gonna make a cr time crush Adele, which should actually injure him pretty heavily. Yeah. So Adele is the only one that might die here, just because his defense is terrible, and the enemy is enemy boost times three. Oh, that's that's all they can do. Well, um, I guess I just return fire with Megaton Crush, right? Start, th start the war. Move Adele out of the way. Guess I can bring this character over here and free up our other mage. Funk. There is a removal of warp, but honestly, I don't even really need to do anything with that yet. Move Rosalind over here. Leave my attackers here for when he appears. He could appear back here, technically, which is kind of annoying. We could kind of chip them out a little here. I mostly just need to get across this gap and then it's over. Like, the problem is hitting this thing. Once that's hit, it's over. Oh wow, they didn't even attack? Why didn't they attack? Wait, what? Can they not target me from here? What? Uh... <laughs> Alright, chat. Uh... Okay. The boss is back there, which I don't really want to deal with. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna move our characters over here, right? Like... I'm gonna get free XP just for existing. So I guess I just bring out, like, I don't know, Laharl, Calvisha, who I guess could get XP. And we'll have in Parameter plus Chris. I mean, like, I think it's just kind of GG for them at this point. I could start buffing them disrespectfully. Like, I don't need to do this, but I will. Sure. 
I already completely surround the book. So even when we go to fight him, it's still over. That has killed basically all of them. So most of their numbers are gone. I can position somebody in a place to get struck by them. We'll see what they do. But at this point, I could just move, like, Chris over a little more. I'm not really lined up with any other character. So if the boss comes back, I can try to kill the thing that prevents the warp. But then it gives... Oh, so if I kill the thing that makes him a warp around, that means that he'll get the enemy boost. Which, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, why did they just kind of give up here? What's up with that? I guess I could have Alvisham throw the, a character over there. And once they go over there, I just have to hit it once and it's basically over. As long as I put Alvisham significantly far back, I think he'll be fine. To the point where I think he could even just stand here and do it. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't die to the Geo panel damage, but we'll see, I guess. I guess I could have made the yellow-green first. I might have slightly done the puzzle wrong, but that's okay. We don't have to care very hard, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if he warps around, I don't really care. So I could have had a bigger combo if I wanted to. I mean, I don't really see anything in there that really matters. So now I could just walk over, which is good. Uh, oh, that's right, I have to hit them on the corner. The red will become green, then nothing's on green. But I can make them all green if I want to. So at this point, we're just waiting for... I guess the boss to come into a range in which I can strike them, and then it's over. Interestingly, I can hit them with Megaton Crush. I'm not sure why they aren't doing that. So I might as well just chip them out while we wait. Anyway, they've lost their stat bonus, so I think, chat, we can agree this is GG, right? If they don't have times three, it's over. Where'd the boss go? Oh, the boss went in one of the most unfortunate scenarios it could possibly be in against us. Nice. Um... I'm gonna move in a way that I'm very unlikely to be targeted with Calvisham, I guess. Let's see if Calvisham does enough damage. Oh, it's 3,000. That's enough. I can throw somebody, though. It looks like he can move, which is interesting. I can move Calvisham way out of range now. Let's stop them from warping, because that's kind of annoying. At this point, I don't even need to deactivate the barrier. She should just be so strong that she can just solo everything. Oh yeah, and that's right, she has Omega Heal too. Wow, she just literally can't die. At this point, it's just free cleanup, right, chat? What can they do? Let's see. Oh, and then I can move him back? Oh, that's disgusting. Um... I guess I could start pumping a little bit, I guess. Instead of doing that, that doesn't make any sense. Let's do the uh, more specific buff. There we go. I don't think I need this, but it'll speed it up a little bit to do so. Then I'll move Kristen and Parameter back another space, just in case. But I think this is over. Oh yeah, look at the damage we're already dealing to him. This is- oh, this is just embarrassing, chat. I don't even need to open up entry, it's over. There's no puzzle to solve. I'm too strong. <laughs> right, chat? Like, it's just like, like, I could have changed it. I can hit that thing to make 
red turned to green, and then I could have made all the colors green and then done other things, but honestly, none of the other rewards in here matter at all. I don't really need another chakra belt. So she should be able to solo everything, because they can't hurt her. Now these enemies are just kind of doomed. I'm almost at the point where I feel like it's probably just worth Braveharting the whole team because it's funny and it just doesn't matter anymore. Like, what is he gonna do with his 30,000? Even if it becomes 60,000, I don't think I care. I'd be real honest with you. I think it's just time to murder him. Spinning Slash... I don't know why I keep turning when I do that. Into Blade Frenzy. Into Blade Frenzy. Actually, let me make sure the, uh, Braveheart goes off first. That way I could get, like, a little more meter for Fenrir or something fun. Anyway, back to this. So we'll do Spinning Slash into Blade Frenzy. See, look at that. He's at 43,000. It's almost like pre-nerf. Except <laughs> the pre-nerf stats. Almost. Except our stats are insane right now. Yeah, he's losing 600,000 a turn. He'll die in two turns. So honestly, at this point, we just need her to speed it up a little. Lure them a little closer to over here. Calvisham's just chilling. Good job, Calvisham. You, you did it. You survived the boss somehow. You only did 11,000. Big yikes, chat. That's with Braveheart. Remember, chat, that was post-Braveheart damage. That's all the boss did to us. So at this point, I'm not feeling very scared. <laughs> Just, I'm feeling like this is just officially over. So we're just gonna go ahead and just cleave them into pieces. And we'll end up with maybe bonus money, which doesn't matter. Oh, I accidentally did this for the combo. Oh well. I guess we're doing more damage this turn, chat. Yeah, sadly Braveheart does not add to the bonus meter as we've seen before. Wow, that's all he can do to the pig. Oh, Chad, this is so sad. So badly want to just disrespect him. So risky, though. The, disres the urge to disrespect is so strong. I want to shoot it with Calvisham, but I don't think it'll kill him if I do it. We're, like, one attack away from that working. Even with combo percentage, we'll be, like, 30,000 shy. Because we're not going to break 700,000 here. Yeah. So he's dead next turn. So I could disrespect with Calvisham. Counter-attack ward me, please. Let's come over here. Hopefully they just do something stupid. Um... Out of range to uh, reach that. That's so sad. I guess something stops me from using... A, an area attack, right? It's not like I could kill my own allies with this. I could split the XP if I'm feeling really greedy. Will this work, though? Not a great chance of landing. Oh, wait. Yeah! We leveled Calvisha by letting him steal XP. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Now that was disrespectful. <laughs> well, Calvisham hit 92. Congratulations, Calvisham. That XP thievery was real. Alright, hopefully we can just end it this turn. If they're polite, we'll counterattack. Please counterattack. Seriously. We have another turn of this. So close. you there. End it next turn, please. Thank you. Wow, the fact that she's just standing here tanking everything to me is hilarious. 
Oh, and she got the double kill. There we go, chat. Amount of hell attained. Too much. Ha! Take that! You torched it pretty good there, Prince. I don't go easy on anyone, books included! <laughs> I almost forgot to take you home. That was close, Zeta. Oh, they are voicing the other characters from Makai Kingdom. Anyhow, you should be ashamed for losing to a young demon like that. Some badass overlord you turned out to be. <laughs> I love how you get angry like that. That's why I like you. You're like the best toy ever. <laughs> There we go. Oh, did we, did he actually join the party? But he only has one movement. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, his stats are insane. Like, 96,000 attack is just bonkers. He has a testament. We have yet... So he came with an Amon Force, but not with the other thing. Oh, no. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, no. Chat, there's two... There's two items of the same rarity we stole from him. Uh-oh. <laughs> How much is this a stat difference? We lose a little bit of defense. But then this happened. Oh! Oh, no. That is... That's a lot of stats. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing but gold here, chat. Like, listen, we have Nemesis, Arcadia, Arcadia, Crowdia's Beauty. We put an Exodus away because it wasn't good enough for us. Take that as you will. I might honestly put the Nemesis on one of these characters. Maybe on her. Or Rosalind just have ridiculous stats. Get rid of this. Put the Nyanko soul back on her. Then I could give him another Exodus. Make his stats a little better. Not bad. Sure, why not? Just make his stats a little better. And get rid of her defense to give her more. Nah, let's keep her defense as is, actually. Yeah. I think that's fine. Oh, there's the Galactic Muscles. So we just add a bazillion health to whatever character we want. Wait. Why does Galactic Muscle ruin our stats? What? What? Huh? Wait, wait. How does he lose stats by... Uh, Disgaea? He shouldn't lose stats by equipping items. What? Did Disgaea, did you not calculate his stats properly? Oops, I guess I don't touch his stats, otherwise he just tanks in value? Big oops on that one. I don't know what happened there. It's like they calculated my stats differently for an enemy versus like a boss fight, which is awkward. I don't think they're supposed to do that. Oh, nice. I could get more stats up on Omega. That's always nice. I mean, at this point, I just have another testament that I don't need. You know what? We'll make Thursday unkillable. This is for chat. There you go, chat. I made Thursday more unkillable. We just have another spare testament. I mean, does, does anybody need a testament anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, because I'd rather have the shield at this point. I could get rid of a profit room for more SP. It's not the worst idea. But the fact that I'm, like, desperate to put on a testament kind of shows us how far we've come in this game. Where I'm like, uh, none of these are really worth it. I don't think the Sophia's Mirror is worth it. Holy Orb should be easy to replace. Oh, but it has SP. And just every time I think I see an upgrade, it's like, nope. Or you know what? Do one of these. I like that the old tree that we have is still kind of godlike for no reason. Thank you, old tree. Anyway, I think we're ready for the Uber boss chat. Something tells me. We didn't really need to worry about upgrading our weapons at all. Also, what is our money total? It's three, six, 
Nine digits, almost ten digits of money. Yeah, that seems about right. Actually, before I save. Put these away. How many bandit hands do I have left? Oh, wait, hold on. I might not need to buy any more. We managed to do it, Chad. We've we picked up a lot of nonsense. Oh yeah, by the way, what level did those, those characters get up to? Horal's now 82. Alvisham's 96. Parameter's 105. This is 80. I mean, like, we got up there a little bit. It is kind of funny seeing these characters that have never gotten a kill at, like, level 40. <laughs> Just something about that chat. Let's save right here. I don't have to do the walk. We're almost done with the game, unless we want to go for a bonus ending. We have literally stomped every single optional thing that is here. We did Beauty Castle, we did Demon Hall Mirror, we did the alternate Netherworld, we did Pretty Land. The only thing left is uh, Bale's Castle. So, I guess we see how hard this is, question mark? That's a lot of bonus XP. Oh, oh, chat, listen, they only they only have 18,000 attack. Start playing the Hideyoshi theme. Oh yeah, by the way, we can see what his other ability is. Oh, it requires us to be really close. Hmm. I mean, the fact that she's at 100,000 in stats is kind of insane to me. Her, her stats are actually super good. But yeah, with two characters with this many raw stats, I think we'll be fine. I think what I want to do is use a thief to move the other character as much as we can here. So he only has one movement speed, which is really brutal. In Makai Kingdom, he can't move at all. He kind of acts as like your home base, if you want to think of it that way. So they, they tried to make it so that at least you could sort of reposition him. Let's see what badass overdrive looks like. Book attack chat. That damage though. It's actually pretty solid. Much better than when we're using the other character stats. Yeah, like she's only doing 20,000. That did 40,000. And she she technically has more stats than him. Reminder chat. Like she technically has way more stats than him. I think at this point, I just do whatever I want. I mean, what is your weakness? Ice? Out of range. I'm gonna put the thief away. Hopefully he doesn't die here. Perfect, he's not going to. And then we need to make sure to end the love- Oh. Wow, they conveniently went into range for me. How useful. Yeah, that damage was not impressive, but that's fine. You can see who is the attack multiplier on their moves, chat. When you're just, when you're legit one-shotting them, you're like, oh man, that's intense damage. So she's basically our sniper. So her being able to hit from many spaces away is kind of nice. But they did 24,000 to Zeta, but does it matter when he has 447,000 health? I don't think it does. Okay, who, who, who should absorb XP, chat? Let's go look at her list. The Kirk absorb it. Rogue Nine, Maharl, um, Chris, and Parameter, I guess. Might even just put her back. She doesn't even need the XP. No, oh, I love RJ Chaos. Also get the XP. Why not? Needless to say, this creature is like super dead. It's not getting a turn. I don't care what its health total is. Goodbye. <laughs> Just got super XP bonus again. Nice. Let's see. Earl's at 83. Chris got a little bit of a level. RJ Chaos went a few levels. Nice. See that chat? Slow, gradual improvements. <laughs> when when the passive experience is more than just doing story mode, 
quite something. Board of Terror, rank 70, chat. Is this the actual final fight of the game? Because there's nothing harder than this. If we beat Ball or slash Bale, it's over. There, there are no other bonus bosses other than, uh, I guess we'll call Bale round two. Yeah, this looks like the end. chat <laughs> only 4000 yeah oh indeed chat oh for followed by oh no <laughs> run bail <Bale>, run <laughs> it's over <laughs> do you see my stats like he's not getting through this the lord of terror ball the legend was true all right they say it ball in this one that's fair the legends were true oh no is it true how whooped he's about to be Oh, those are some good stats. You know what, for only being, you know what, chat? I'll take it back. He has like actual end game stats. Look at that ridiculous BS. Also, do you like that icon for the super robo suit going off the screen? Oh man, so that is actually pretty hard to do. He's got 277,000 attack. So we need to uh, improve this a little bit. Um. Come on. We can't have misses. We, we need to grab it. I might reset if we don't get it. Hi. So how tanky is he now? It's not as bad. So I think he can actually one-shot us as is. So I have an idea. We need our strongest characters. Oh, Zeta's stats reset. Yeah, there's something broken with Zeta. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't know what caused it. I'm. You saw his stats were in the 90,000s. I'm assuming there's a bug with him. So we don't get to get his ridiculous stats. It's like he had his stats from the NPC briefly. But then it, it didn't do it. All right, so we need... We're, we're gonna do some cheese here, chat, listen. We're gonna move him a little closer. That's step one. Uh, we need some attack power here. So we we actually need some serious buffs. Let's get all of our stats up like right now. I could put Rosalind away for now, but I think what I want to do is we probably need to take it pretty seriously in terms of setups, or we're just not going to be able to kill him. I'm going to do some of these. I mean, we have a super suit. I don't know what that does in terms of stats, but we've taken it. I want as many stat buffs as I can here. So four is pretty good. Put him down briefly. Can I steal from him again? Out of range. Do I have another character with more movement that can steal from him? Uh, no. Okay. What I can do in the meantime is just make sure my stats go up. Let's do this. So then I can do... I want to throw him closer so I don't need to move as much. I think that's the big problem right now. Really funny picking him up, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna move him, like, over here. That way I don't have to move as far. And I'm gonna have Kaiser probably sacrifice himself. And now I can reach him with stealing, which is important. On. Another high level character. There we go. So now his stats should be much worse. Okay. 
So we did knock out like 30,000 in his stats, but he's still extremely tanky. So I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice basically everybody to kill this character, which is fine. It is, it is a super boss. So if I need more attack, I need more attack, but I don't need this many mages out. Let's put most of them away. Probably have you as the sacrificial pawn in just a moment. We still have some big attack scores. Like, we have two characters with pretty good stats. We have any other characters that could do big damage. She should be able to do damage. He should be able to do damage. Essa can have another buff character here. Alright, so I think what I need to do is only... Actually, I could use one more mage. That's the, the correct strategy. So I could do something like this. I mean, if I buff his damage, I don't think this matters. Let's do this, just to guarantee we get as much damage as possible. Because it's not like he's not going to one-shot us anyway. And, and his stats should go down over time, so it shouldn't matter here. Let's get some buffs. So the pig at least should maybe be able to hurt now. Try to take advantage of her damage. We'll use... Try a normal attack here. I don't know if he's got range of strikes or not. I can't really tell. I could, I, I'll play it safe for now. Let's use Rose Thorns. Wow, that did some damage, but not good enough. Do... damage here. Oh, that did legit zero. Interesting. I think that we should do is do this into this. So I guess the pig doesn't do anything, so that's fine. I could put the pig back, maybe. Put him back next turn. As long as the thief can pick this character up, we should be good. I'm not gonna get max damage here, but this should do some good damage. So we are hitting him at a decent rate. Oh, I forgot to lift up. But you know what? He only attacked one character anyway. We'll consider that a victory. Listen, Chad, if he's stupid enough to just normal attack when I forgot to lift him, we we don't we don't question that. We go, okay. <laughs> right, chat, we go, okay. So let's put all of our characters briefly together. Do I have another summonable? I do. Okay, good. Let's see if this is good enough, chat. I hope it is. This is about as good as I can get it, I think. So all their stats should be basically max right now. So I could do a normal attack with her. I don't know if I really want to risk... Definitely want to hit him with at least three attackers a turn. I think that's the right call for sure. Do one, two, three. So we're getting there. And I could still attack with another one, doing something like this. No, 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 I can't do it. Absolutely. Um, let's lift them up. Alright, so what I can do is put one of our mages away. That's step one. I can join in a combo here. 
as long as I have two characters, what I can end up doing is... But the fact that he moves them out of the way, I think it's a problem. I think I lost my opportunity to do it. I could have snuck in another attack by lifting them out of the way and then lifting another character. But we are injuring them. It's just, I don't know if we're injuring them fast enough. We do have a lot of characters, so it's still going to take them some time to kill us. Which is good. So eventually it could just be in parameter, basically buffing. And if this boss has to attack one of the mages, then we're also kind of fine. If only we had this pig, yeah. That's actually going to be kind of tight, I think. I could risk not attacking, but I think his stats are kind of high still. The earlier Braveheart. Let it simmer a bit more. I think we're doing the right thing in at least like, wounding him on the sides like this. I think, actually, what should happen is the back attacker should be here and have our second best character go here. I think this will optimize the damage. But I think this is about as much as I... So I can always get at least a free hit with her. And then I can always lift this character up again. Another character. So this should be fine. But what I could do is... Maybe one more AoE just to build damage? I think that would make sense. At least I'm adding to the damage multiplier. I think that makes sense. Even if it does no damage, that's fine. It, it just adds to the multiplier, and then I can pick him up again. So that's what I could have done to squeeze out a little more damage. See what happens. So he's at halfway on his health. That's good. I don't think he can one-shot literally everybody at the moment. <laughs> Pass a law for bigger spawn to capture this guy. Yeah, it would have been funny if we could capture him. So he's below half health currently. Not bad. I think what we need to do is... Getting a little far from me, which is kind of annoying. But at least I have super movement. So as long as I just keep triple buffing like this, I should be fine. We're at the point where I might have to start letting him have a turn, which is a little scary. But from our perspective, at least, we have some big damage. I'm gonna go one more turn before I let him have a turn. Hopefully, I don't need to restart. I don't really know what his attack pattern is going to be like, which is a little scary. Huh? Why did she do zero damage there? That kind of sucks. I might have to just stop using her at this point, if she's doing zero. I mean, she's at 180,000. I Maybe it's calculated off a hit? I said that before, I don't know how her damage calculation works. It looks like that should have done like a million damage, but it didn't. It's possible if I put in Parameter in range, he'll try to hit in Parameter here. The boss is really close to dying. I just have to be careful not to lose my best character. Well, before I do that. I guess the question is, do I go for the no lift? I could go for it, like, right now if I want to. The question is, do I think he'll one-shot me? 214,000. I don't have 214,000 health. Or I have more than that on every character. I do have 90,000 defense, but he... I don't know what his attack multiplier is, either. Which is a little risky. I just put him out of range of the other attack, which is kind of annoying. Um... Try this. I definitely want to make sure we always at least have a mage. So I think if I do this, I'm gonna go like way over here. Maybe he'll like 
try to hit in Parameter. Let's see what happens. Need like three more turns to kill him, but I don't have that many additional characters. Let's see what happens. Honestly, that's probably fun. We got another turn. Problem more is that he's in an awkward position. But it also tells me that if I do more of a distance, he shouldn't be able to kill all of our characters simultaneously. So if I do some- Oh, you know what I could've been doing? I could've been doing Gigantic Slash. Oh, that was a big misplay for me. I could've been doing that the whole time. Oops. That would've let me pick him up earlier. It's gonna be so close. And then I can lift him up with the remaining characters. I think this should work. And this finally puts him out of the corner, which is huge. So at this point, I think we have it? I just need to hit him with the back attack on this. To do something like this. Like, if I don't pump damage, I don't think I could kill him, so we'll do that. And then I can go... No, this character could go on the side. Then our super powerful character can go behind him. So if this puts him at below 300,000, I think he's actually dead. And then I can... Ooh, I can't. Oh. Well, that's a problem, actually. I didn't realize I couldn't reach the base. Um... Maybe he'll target in Parameter? What if I do this? He does. That was a mistake on my part. I thought I could reach the base. I think I'm gonna be like a little shy in damage. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, I messed up my movement. So missing one combo, I think it's gonna cost me the kill here. It sucks. I don't have a spare character to put him back. Well, rip all these characters, I think. Oh, we're so close, yeah. I think me missing that one combo mattered. They're dead. Man, I was so close to one trying it. So close. I had the right idea. What I could have done for a little more damage is Galactic Punch. We'll try again. I was very close. The so one more optimization and we could do it. We got a little unlucky in the beginning with the steals, which is why I was also worrying that would do it, but that's fine. The only thing we need to do now is make sure we get the steal early, that's all. So I think what we could do is move this character way closer. That was problem one. Problem one, I should have done this to begin with. Do something like this. Put them like right here. And make sure all of our best attackers are still going to hit him this turn. What we could do is... Get our four best attackers. Something I did wrong previously. I don't know if the princess's damage is actually good enough. We know the pig isn't worth summoning, so we can ignore the pig. We could bring her in just for spare combo damage, I guess. could do something like this. So we'll buff up as much as we can. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't need her then. I'm gonna buff up as much as I can. Attack with most of our targets. Yeah, that's... Well, I guess the first turn it doesn't super matter what I do. Hindsight. I need to make sure his armor comes off. He's otherwise basically unkillable without it. So let's hope we get this. Let's see if it works. Start with our weakest character stealing first. Damn. One. I 
I think I might still reset this, to be honest with you. We don't get it on the first turn. Okay, we got it. Okay. That's a little better. That was still not great, to be honest with you, but it's it's all live with it amounts of the steel attempts. We'll have her die. Let's go buff up our remaining characters. And then I think we need to just focus on combo damage. So if I have to attack with Imperimeter and Chris just to build combo, I probably should at this point. Is anything to just squeeze out like another 100? We only missed it by like one attack, like effectively. So if we could just get that last little bit there, I think we should be good. Let's get a triple buff here. Okay, we know Edna can die for the cause, and that's fine. There we go. So yeah, surprisingly still super tanky after all that. But one thing that I messed up that I was talking about before, I can actually have four attackers still attack and lift. That's where I was missing a lot of damage for chat clarity. I'll show you what I mean in a second, because you don't see it. So I could have been using Gigantic Slash for some big damage. Let's also summon Ilya, or I don't really care who, Rosalind, why not? So I think we did three and then two, so I need one more buff this turn, and then next turn I can focus on damage. Now I should be at max stats. Yeah, what I messed up before is I should have done this in order to reach further away. That also stops him from sliding as far as well. Although, I think I need this character to be here. This character... Okay, what? Does he, does he really have to be in front? That's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping our weaker character would go there. We'll do you at the long range. There we go. Now I can fix this up. So what I should have done is start our combo with our weakest character, which is with you. Actually, it's actually Rosalyn, I lied. Attack, just to build meter. Then I could have Gigantic Slashed. Then I could have hit with this Blade Frenzy. Then I could have hit with this Blade Frenzy. Then I could have hit with this Blade Frenzy. And then live with Edna. So that was a misplay on my part. It did cost me damage, because I was basically losing 50,000 a turn. Just from the damage alone. And that's already much better. See, we did 50-something thousand damage to him, and now I can just walk up and lift him. Now we can really squeeze out our damage by doing a similar thing. So I need, actually, these characters in swap positions. And side attack results in more damage. Although Blade Frenzy might give more. This is fine. What I could do is move our 9,000 character here. Yeah, that's better. And then from here, I just need to make sure that they receive a buff. So I think for max damage, the combo would be something like... Make sure we get our Braveheart back. Do one. And we just try to pump the meter up as much as possible. Put away this mage to have another character that lived. Do something like... Chris will assist in damage, even though it doesn't do damage. It will give me more opportunities to build meter, which is pretty neat. A gigantic slash into Blade Frenzy, into Blade Frenzy. Into Blade Frenzy, so this should be a lot more damage overall. And hopefully this will get us the rest of the way. did less damage there for some reason. It's kind of unfortunate. We're just gonna keep going. So whatever damage we can get in, we'll try to get in. 
It is kind of difficult to see our characters through him, I'm not gonna lie. This will be the last major turn with Imperimeter and Chris, because I have to slowly sacrifice one of them. Let oh, Chris hold on for now. Yeah, I can do this to buff. Everybody's attack should still be a max. Where is that not max? I feel like that I feel like we had higher in a second. Something weird happened, like I missed the buff. Even if I messed this up. Yeah, I was gonna say, that felt kinda low. Okay, that might explain why our damage was a bit off. I think that's worth doing over the other thing. So I'm like, wait a minute, it should be way better than that. Because I feel like a, with a combo this big, we should have done, done more in the previous turn. I was right to assume that we should have done more. Much better. Much better damage. Okay, so he'll die in three turns-ish. This is going to be the last major turn I can lift him. I don't know what his other attack pattern is. I could try leaving him surrounded for a turn. I have been buffing his attack power, which is a bit unfortunate. I think what I need to do this time is just do the bare minimum. Give him a turn to debuff. It's... Is Braveheart not stacking? Wait. I thought it's only supposed to drain at 15% per turn, but that didn't put me as high as I was before. What? Is... What? One second. What? It, is there something special about this stage that makes Braveheart worse? Is that why my damage is off? Because I keep assuming that I'm at max stats, but it doesn't work like that? Huh. It's interesting. I don't know why... I don't normally need to stack it like that. Even if... So, it must be losing like 25% instead of 15, which feels like a bug. Oh, why can't this character move? Shenanigans happen. Alright, let's see what he does here. If I don't let him AoE target me, what does he do? This is the only time I have to take a risk. What damage we do here? So we could kill him in two more turns. Let's see what he does. Oh, a single attack? I sir, You know what? You know what, chat? I think we take that. I think we absolutely take that. I think it's over now. Because he did that and didn't AoE us, I think he actually just lost himself the game. He attacked our weakest character, too. Like, the only one I don't care about. But I think Chris and Imperimeter are gonna just carry us to the finish line. I mean, what's the worst that'll happen? He'll try to chase the mages down? Like, okay. I can't find our other characters. There they are. Like, no, they're so far away. So, honestly, I think it's actually over. That was a bit unlucky before, but looks like surrounding him is pretty powerful. So he sh I don't know why we low rolled, so he should be dead next turn. Okay. We might not one-shot one-shot him, but his buffs should be we yeah, his buffs are wearing off from earlier. That's fine. As, as long as I don't accidentally braveheart him here, I think it's over. In fact, I can even just lift him if I want to. 
Yeah, I think I should just lift them. Let's not even mess around with this boss at all anymore. Catch a bias another turn, for sure. Sorry, six feet under. I think you have to die for the cause. <laughs> right, Chad? I think, I think he's going down with the ship, as it were. Do something like this, maybe? like wondering what was happening there um should still be fine it is kind of crazy though like how many raw items i needed from the custom characters after all was said and done this should be it so he, he might not die here due to uh damage variance which is fine but he's definitely dead next turn so gg there we go we stole yet another super item which, by the way, I forgot to see if we can even equip it. Oh, I could have been equipped with that too, by the way. I guess that also would have helped. We could wear Super Robo Suit. That probably would have helped a little bit with our damage, not gonna lie. Wow, that is a lot of movement there. The galaxy's coolest looking robot. So I guess I could just get rid of a rank 5 or whatever Arcadia for the kill. That would have helped a little bit with our damage. So, well, small missed play, but it doesn't really matter. Everybody else's damage is fine. I guess if I want to just wear an Arcadia just to get the kill. Do something like this to just kind of finish things off. Kill him with his own weapon, chat. That feels appropriate. There we go. Sadly not first try, but he is super, super dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. There we go. So we beat the second hardest boss in the game. Gas, gas, chat. I beat him. Now I'm the Lord of Terror. Well done. Wh who's there? Well done, Laharo. You have grown. That voice. The demon which you just defeated, all the Lord of Terror, was planning to conquer all the netherworlds in existence. Your father gave his life in order to stop Baal from achieving his ambition. My old man did? That is correct. Your father succeeded in sealing away Baal, but in the process he exhausted all of his power. I see. My old man fought him here. Dot, 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 dot. Laharl, you've assumed your father's role as overlord and have fulfilled your duty remarkably well. You've earned the right to call yourself Laharl, the Lord of Terror. Who are you? Dot, dot, dot. Laharl, become a great overlord. Laharl's earned the title tyrant. So anyway... <laughs> So the reason that the title is important is that now I think if I try to pass any bills, they basically won't vote against me because I'm the most powerful being in the game, according to the game. That's neat, I guess. But anyway, we super robo suit, chat. Can you be sad about... I mean, look at our stats now. I mean, look at this, chat. How do you even compete with this? I'm at almost 200k attack. Actual insanity, how good our stats are right now. I guess I can improve Zeta, because his stats were bugged briefly. Sure, we'll make him tankier, not that it really matters. Any other characters deserve a little love? Any of them on Force users in here? A little bit. Oh, I have two 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 sevens. Interesting. Yeah, so we're, we're now equipped with Super Robo Suits, and we have, like, one of the best accessories in the game. All by having the other, basically, top-tier accessories in the game. So this character is insane. We could have leveled Crowdy as Beauty if we were still missing damage, because, again, it's a 1500 attack item. It is pretty much better than everything, other than Super Robo Suit. 
Interestingly, Super Robo Suit is blue text, even though it's a legendary rank. Also, I just noticed three of these items are rank six. Oh, that's a lot of stat bonus. Right, chat? Wait a minute. Uh-oh, 666 occurred. Uh-oh. But anyway, chat, we're not done. Believe it or not, we have three, six, nine, ten digits of money. But we are not done. Did I need to ever go to shop again? Oh my gosh, I had exactly the right number of bandit hands. Chat, I did it. I don't have to go to the shop. I did it. I, I guessed correctly, on point, for not needing to restock. But anyway, what happens if you go to revisit the Vale Castle Lord of Terror area? We fight the true final boss. It's pretty chat. Oh, oh my gosh, his stats. What the heck are his stats? <laughs> um, is it even possible to beat this? <laughs> Look at their stats. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, what? Whoa, what indeed? This you know what? Bad. We still might be able to kill him. Okay. You're pretty much screwed. Let's walk forward. So I only have a couple characters I can attempt this on. Number one. This character the fact this character can actually reach him is kind of scary. Let's use our weakest character that might still be able to do it. Oh, no. He, this is oh, lower level. Damn, I only have a couple characters I could try this on then. That's kind of brutal. Seriously. Huh? Oh, lower level one. I might reset if we don't grab it here. Alright, whatever his stats now. Uh, his attack is still absurd, but I might be able to get him here. Oh, oh my god, what the- The strongest mo- Hold on, Chad, let me move the chat out of the way. The strongest monster weapon ever, EX model. Look at the stats! Look at that item! What the heck is this? Um... Well, I guess if I just really want to do some- Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, look at the stats! Why even play a human character? Why? What's the point? Look at the stats! Oh my gosh! Actually unstoppable stats. I almost have a million. <laughs> Wait a minute, can he can he no longer hurt me? This is the Reaper's power. Oh please let me steal this. Oh we stole it. Wait, wait. Oh, he's reasonable stats now! Oh my gosh, he's reasonable stats, chat. Oh my look at the defense on this item. Holy. Alright, we got a chance. We got a chance. I don't know if throwing him kills him. I kind of just want to see if I can bully him now, I'll be real with you. I moved in kind of an awkward position. Oh wait, because I've lifted him, it doesn't matter what his position is. Wait a minute, this is fine. So I could get six slicer characters out, but I doubt I can hurt him with six. So what we'll end up doing instead, let's make sure that we have as many brave heart users as we can afford here. Parameter coming in clutch to finish up this game. On the plus side chat, this character's attack power is going to get stupid. I think we can make it break the UI. So yeah, we, we, we are good. I think this is it. We only need one character super buff, but I'll buff everybody just for combos. Maybe I'll be able to pierce his defense. I've now super buffed everybody. So I am I am super ready for a nasty combo. We're going in chat. He's got a lot of health, but I now have a lot of stats. Now the question is, is it worth unequipping any of these? I do end up with, like, an insane amount of defense. Okay, so if... If by some miracle he survives, I will equip the Prinny costume, 
And I should negate all of his damage, I think is how that works. And one of our other top characters, I could see if this is an improvement for them. It is a little bit, and a little bit is good enough for me, to be honest with you. Okay. How about our next character? Do you need an improvement? No, don't care about that. How about you, Omega? Okay, I mean, that's like a decent stat improvement. Better than nothing, right, chat? Might as well as try it. I don't know if it'll get through his defense or not, but we'll try. We're gonna have two characters with Braveheart. They should be at max damage. Then to combo, I'm gonna put one character away. We're going to add... Where should Use Rosalyn to start the combo. We just need good two buffs. Forget about this. Just get Bravehearted right now. I could have lifted the boss to prevent it from getting buffs. I guess that would also be easier. We're gonna make sure our attack is as high. Yeah, the, the attack meter is broken. That's good. Um. That leaves me one character to dispatch. This should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and use Giga Fire to try to build combo here. Ugh, this character's range is terrible. Okay, do I have a different character for combo range? I just need to hit them. It doesn't have to do damage. Oh, this should be fine, because I can move in and out of range from here. This is fine. Let's use Terra Star. And we will 100% put this ridiculous character behind this character, Blade Frenzy. Come over here, definitely want Blade Frenzy for a multiplier. Our weakest character can hit from a distance, because I don't care about their damage. Actually, it would make even more sense to do a side attack here, than do the damage here. Yeah, that would make way more sense. And then we have one... Oh, I did this wrong. I did attack first. Whoop. Right idea, wrong order. So you have to attack. Now we go here. We go here. So all the best characters are hitting side attacks. This is our next weakest character. This is our next weakest character. This is where our damage is. Oh no. I still did that wrong. Damn, I'm dumb. So we need to come over here. Come over here. You need to do Galactic Blast. Or slash whatever. And do you, do you, do you. And then I have one character to lift. That's fine. We're doing zero. Okay, right, that does damage. So we do 821,000. So if I can do five more turns of that, I think I win, which I think I could do. Okay, I think we're about to beat the super boss then. I can even afford to braveheart him, because I don't think it matters. If I do that, then I just need a character that can lift. Can do something like this. Oh, no, it's not gonna work, because they gotta... I mean, I can still do this, because it doesn't matter. I'm assuming the boss just killed me regardless. Let's do this. Then I'm gonna back up. Just try to get our combo multiplier as high as possible. Doesn't have to do damage. Black Slash. Frenzy. Blade Frenzy. Blade Frenzy again. And I still have a character that can lift. Oh, I did some damage there. So we're still doing... I still need... Oh, I still need five turns to do the damage. It's a bit awkward. I still should be able to do it. 
Because if I equip the pretty costume, I shouldn't die to him for any reason. Even if he is like the most godly attack in the world, I don't think it matters. We're going to sacrifice Plinier here, I think. Goodbye, Plinier. So we're still going to get several turns of super buffs. It's just that I'm going to slowly remove his applying damage. So she needs to go away now. And I'm going to actually go... Move Imperameter over here. I mean, if the boss wants to fight Imperameter, I'm going to be like, okay. Right, chat? Like, okay. If you want, I don't think it'll work for you, but whatever you want. Try to get one good brave heart here. We're just trying to maintain the buff the best that we can. And honestly, with the buff not applying all the way, I might just have Chris come back out. If I put them on opposite sides, I think the boss will try to go for them. Both of them have good enough Braveheart that I could just do this. I think it's more important I get a good combo here, and then I could still pick him up next turn. Okay, that should be good. Back, put you back, put you back. Back slightly, so not as big of a combo, but I think her damage should be good enough. But it should make up for the damage loss. This character getting stats I think is more important. Yeah, big damage. Ooh, 100,000 that time. So I need to kill... I need to do that less than three more times, so... We'll see? All right, Chad, it's gonna be close. It is gonna be real close. I can put... Parameter here. I get our damage up. Put Chris away for now. And this is my last real turn with sacrifices, I think. Knowing that he's here of all places, it'd still be fine. I mean, I'm glad I have enough attack power, so like I should be able to walk and kill this character. More annoying than anything else. So we know two more turns should kill. If I can survive two hits at all at this point, it's over. I might even sacrifice more of our characters just to see if I could get it going. I think what we should do is put away Omega at this point. Keep our buffs going, because this is the only thing really keeping us competitive. And actually, I might even put away our other character here, just to get one more buff on the other character. I think that's just more damage at this point. If they, if the boss's defense wasn't as high, I would say it would be more arguable, but I think this is what I need to do. So I think I could get them pretty close. So we need to do two more turns of attacking, which I think we could do, because I could stall, I think, two more turns, as is. There we go, chat. We're, we're cheesing the boss out of out of existence. I don't care what this boss wants to do. We're going to have Imperameter come in. Imperameter keeping our damage up. We're going to come in. Smack him the back. Then we still got another character to lift. What we could do is... Bonk. Bonk. There we go, Chad. He is guaranteed dead next turn. GG. The fight is over. He got one tried. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know what? Just for good measure, and Parameter is going to go ahead and Braveheart. But it is now over, Chad. We have defeated the strongest enemy in the game. Goodbye. Bonk. Done. What's your reward? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, Disgaea, you should have had a cutscene for that, I'm just saying.
So yeah, we uh we beat the hardest challenge in the game in under 40 hours with cutscenes. That included a complete playthrough. So I think we could technically revisit. So if I really just want a whole bunch of uh Nemesis Mark IIs. I mean, as I said before, there's there's kind of no reason to farm in this game, ex except now if you want to farm, you can get multiple Nemesis Mach 2s. So if you really just want every monster to be the most broken thing ever, go ahead, nothing stops you. <laughs> just, just FYI. <laughs> so all, all that hard work you did as a human character, yeah, no point. Literally no point. Actually pointless. Oh my gosh, this attack power is insanely stupid. I just give up a little bit of stats just to get an actually immortal character in here. Oh, it's a it's a rarity zero too. Wow. Okay. Sadly, it only came with three out of eleven total populated. But, you know, if we just if we just want to get another super weapon, I guess we could go do it. <laughs> just hold on a second. <laughs> right, Chad. Hold on. Let's just go get one more because it's funny. But yeah, at this point, Chana, I guess I'll leave it up to you. There's there's nothing left to do with the game other than bonus endings. Did you want me to go for another bonus ending? I don't think I could do it tonight, though, if we go to do it. So I probably set up for that as a special session in the future. But let me know. But I will steal this final item as a joke to this poor, poor, poor Prinny, who cannot do anything to us at this point since we are gods amongst men at this point. Okay, we'll do a bonus session at some point just to do endings. Maybe it'll be next Friday. Wow, we stole that first try. GG. Alright, that went much better than our other attempt. I'm just gonna stay just straight up chat. So yeah, if we just want to equip characters to just become completely unkillable to every other challenge in the game, uh, we can farm that for all eternity. They're a little awkwardly positioned there. I think I moved the other guy too far forward. Just fine. Yeah, at this point I could just summon the mages, as it were. Yeah, some of them like I moved them like one space too far. Oh well, I don't think it matters in the long run. Let's go get this last armor. If Cat wants it, we'll we'll go do it. But that won't be tonight. We will review the game though, since I think I think we can definitively say that when you beat the strongest enemy in the game. There's not really too much more to add at that point. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get that out of the way tonight, I think. Oh yeah, no, you're super dead. So we could go ahead and just equip the uber ridiculous nonsense item on this character. These characters together real quick. Some more brave hearts in here. One. Two. Three. Put this character away so I can lift and do the brave hearts. That way the other character is almost caught up. But yeah, once you have one, the snowball is real. So we get to farm the best weapon in the game and it will always be legendary. So really not much more the boss can do at that point. I think we could all agree. Like it's just over. There's technically one other thing we could do with the item god stuff, but I, I don't think I really want to grind out 100 floors. I'll be real with you. It would involve basically going down 100 floors in one of our legendary items, which, to be fair, is now very easy to do, but it just... Eh, I, I don't think we'll get anything out of it other than saying that we did it. Whereas, like, at least we could say with Ball, we got some story before we absolutely just wrecked him in the face. And I can lift him up next turn, so this is gonna be big damage. The funny part is, we could end up with some more end 
honestly, even these guns, even these weapons are kind of disappointing. I can be honest with you. It's kind of mediocre. And now at this point, you can see he's just getting snowball killed. And keep in mind, we can even grind the weapons up with gladiators if we really want to. So if we just really, really, really want to dunk every enemy in existence, nothing really stops us at this point. Okay, so that should counteract our stat loss. Move try in here. Backwards a little bit. Cancel our movement. Yeah, we now have like two super god stat items, so there's not much the game can do. There's a couple of movement items we didn't receive, but I feel like when we play games, we don't necessarily 100% them, but I think in terms of bonus content, other than the maps of invasion, yeah, invading the earth, which we alluded to a long time ago, that is the only set of maps we have not cleared. That I would be willing to do, and it seems like Chad is somewhat interested in it. So we'll do that as kind of like a fun little bonus, but I think at this point, I think we can agree. The game is over. I'm now just toying with the, the poor boss. Like, it used to be close whether or not we would kill, and the more items I get from this boss, the more characters live. It's just kind of unfair at this point. Sure, you know what? I have so much movement now, thanks to that other upgrade. We're good. Yeah, I just... In this game series, I hope Chad understands why I ended up just going with monsters at the end. Like, can you imagine spending like a hundred hours just to find out there's like some godly weapon that just completely negates literally hundreds of hours of progress if you're able to take it? And which, since we are, we are going to negate many, many hours of gameplay. So, oops. Yeah, I think I missed an opportunity to get like an uber staff. I think. That was about it. I think the Cleric might have had it in the other place, but not that it matters in the run. Just, I guess if you're playing on your own, you should probably have che checked out the Cleric that was in the Demon Hall. Just to see if you could get more. Wow. So, they're actually just straight up dead next turn. You know what, I think it's fitting that Gonna Bite It is gonna die for the end of this. So, I guess to just... Emphasize our damage. I'm just gonna move in a little bit. Give him a little group hug. I think we're just gonna tell everybody to just get a nice little... Nice little brave heart on everything. <laughs> Why not, chat? Who cares? Time to go in for damage. You can tell I don't care when. It's over. This is the true combo, chat. Wow. Wow. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, anyway, we have like near infinite money. So if you need money for whatever reason, you just fight him over and over. Uh, we are gaining levels. So we've gone up four levels every time we kill him, more or less. Not that it matters. Sadly, we can't get more super robo suits. So we would have to play through the entire game again just to get access to it, which does kind of suck. Not gonna lie, it does kind of suck. Oh, hey, look, we can make uh, Adol actually decent. Okay. I mean, 70,000 is real, to be fair. I love that we just have another printy outfit, and I'm like, I don't even need it. Just, it's just there. Like, I could just become literally unkillable if I want to, I guess. Lose a little bit of stats, but we become unkillable. Why not? Sure. Make Adele become the tank that I was I was complaining he was too squishy, chat. I was complaining. So yeah, we did that all in under 40 hours. We have... I'm pretty sure there's no bonus content missing other than the, uh, the Earth Invasion. So we'll set up for that for another special session. I don't know when it'll be. I'm not going to promise it for next week since I have a lot of things to do. But we'll try to get it in as the last little thing for Disgaea 1. But I think it's safe to say that monsters have completely taken over the playthrough. Their stats are completely broken. They scale off of, like, I don't know, like 10 times the stats of an item to, like, 100. I honestly... Like, look at this. It says 1,500. It adds 30,000. So I'm literally getting, like, a 20 times multiplier on this. Some of it has to do with Arcadia, but... Yeah, like, here's an example. Crowdia's Beauty is 1,500, but it adds... 
19,000? Ish? Like, okay. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. I love that there's multiple nemesis of different ranks. So in theory, I could end up with the Nemesis Mach 2 rank 6. Yeah. I would say Rosalind's stats are amazing, but her damage is actually surprisingly bad. I think it has to do with how her damage is calculated. But that's okay. We now have Super Tank Adele, who can't die to anything in the main story. Even at level 2002, even if he can't kill anything in one shot, um, nothing will basically hurt him. And he can only level, so that's kind of funny. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do. I guess I could show off one thing. One additional thing. I guess I could try passing a bill. Does it only apply to Laharl? I can't say I've ever bothered to pass bills. I mean, because, like, once you beat the game, you beat the game, right, chat? Like, you don't normally bother passing any other bills. So, like, what if I just choose Laharl right now and just say, raise military funds? Will, he, will they just accept this? Yay. Mm. Yay, yay. Yay. Okay. See, that one is usually an auto-fail. That's how you can force battles. So what if I do it with another character? Do they reject it? No. Oh, it's only Laharl. Okay. So there we go. I guess, I guess if you're playing as Laharl, nice. You auto-pass all bills. Sadly, though, uh, we didn't get many kills with him, so he doesn't have any mana. I mean, it's not even that he has bad stats. It's just that, like, how could he ever... How can he ever hope to compete with the <laughs> Yes. I mean, come on. I have a 31k base weapon. And keep in mind, chat, when it's a legendary item, uh, it gets a percent... I forget the exact percentage. I do forgive forgive chat for not remembering offhand. But you get... Let let's say it's 1%. You get at least 1% per floor. Plus, you get a s an additional bonus if a... Uh, gonna say whether they're called i guess gladiator so let's say i had like a bunch of gladiators they would provide a base stat increase on top of the item's natural growth for it having the stat in the first place but i could do that a hundred times so i would say with just like good gladiators i don't think it would be unreasonable to hit a hundred thousand on this weapon because i could realistically double it just from going a hundred floors and then if i combine our gladiators together i could probably add like several thousand every 10 floors which would then in turn improve the next time it goes up another 10 floors etc if you really just want to build super weapons you can i don't see the point unless you just really want to see if you could beat the game at like max enemy bill or whatever but from my standpoint i saw all the content so i'm good minus the uh, other ending which we'll do separately so let's have a talk chat how do we think things went? Well, we almost beat Ball first try, and that was mostly on my fault. It wasn't, like, RNG. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, uh, wow. Monster Supremacy is real. <laughs> we didn't hit 9,999, but we did break the UI with our attack meter, so I'm gonna say good enough. <laughs> right, Chan? I'm gonna say good enough. I think we did it. So... I think at that point, uh, I guess to talk about it in general, the game kind of expects you to loop over and over again to get all the super monster equipment. Like, you could refight Ball for the first time, you could refight Zeta for the first time. But, like, honestly, without the ability to cut skip cutscenes, I have no interest. It takes a long time to get through the story cutscenes. I did a YouTube recording prior to the session. It was, like, almost two hours due to just almost purely cutscenes. And then, like, another half hour of me messing around in the shops. So, it's kind of unfortunate. It does hamper it. As we go through the series, they get a little better about that. So, I don't have to rewatch the Etna play or watch the intro to chapters or outro of chapters. So, I'm just glad for this particular session, it was basically non stop, minus a couple visits to Nurse, stomps through every area, minus the Earth invasion, which we'll do separately. And chat is requested for that. But otherwise, we beat the hardest challenges in the game. Aside from artificially inflating them by saying, hee hee, number go up with enemy stronger bill. We beat the super boss of the game. That's all I have to say. We have his equipment. 
If I feel like level grinding it to a 100, then we could probably beat him if we have like two of those or three of those. And do the same exact strategy to just end up with like several hundred thousand attack, etc. Uh, but no thanks, chat. That, that'll be for somebody else that wants to do that. <laughs> I, I'm good as is. We, we beat the hardest challenge in the game. So with that, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. And I guess see you in the bonus section and or the wrap up.